NCAA tournament. Connecticut. And that's the end of the list. <laughs> now, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Like, I think Houston's going to be fine going in. But Saturday also showed what Houston is capable of. And that is stinking it up. Kansas is a big name. They know how to win championships. They're in Tennessee's region, and they are limping, literally, into the tournament. Purdue, that's Tennessee's region, has a very strong case that it should get to the Final Four. I also can come up with a pretty good case that it won't be around in the second weekend. And I can make that case quickly. So... All of these teams are going in saying, well, I like our chances, but I'm kind of worried about this. Now, you factor in the history of March, Rick Barnes' record versus the other elite teams, because that's that's the bracket he's kind of compared against because of what his overall record is in the regular season. Postseason, it doesn't exactly match up. But Tennessee personnel-wise has an advantage against, I think, all but – four or five teams at the at the most. They have a ton of experience. They have a lottery pick. They have depth. They have hard workers off the bench. Hard workers or producers? Hard work that often leads to production. What Toby about, Walker can late. come in and rebound. What, uh, I, I'm sorry. Well, and, what's as of late? Because listen, this time a week ago, even what, after the Kentucky Well, that's game. what matters. <laughs> As of late. That's what matters. Tell that to Rick Petito and the boys. They're, they're heading home. I don't care about them. This is his <laughs> first year, and Tennessee has been with the same coach for nine years. I don't yeah. care about Rick Petito. I'm not comparing myself to St. John's, and you did exactly what I did. Bad feeling in your mouth from Friday. You look around the, the country and go, hey, well, other teams, other teams peed down the leg too. So I should feel good about better about my team because other teams are, are looking bad right now. That doesn't give me confidence. It doesn't make me feel better. All it does is make me say, well, I, I guess we're going to have a two eight seeds in the Final Four and a and UConn and a 12 seed. I, I mean, that's all you're telling me here. So, like, I can't help how I feel right now. And it's based on the last two games. Mm-hmm. It, it's based on history. Um I get I'm nervous because of the postseason. And if we would have played better in our last game with a sense of urgency, I wouldn't have this feeling. But Saturday Friday was inexcusable. It was inexcusable. Mm-hmm. Don't tell me I, I saw some some garbage on Twitter. It doesn't matter. This is it's good that this happened. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you see that mess out there? You say that was good. You you hope that happened. That was good. Was happened. I'm not making that you, case. You trying to say that that don't matter? Are you are you are you lost your mind? Now, this team can flip the switch. You, you do have experience. They've proven that before. But like, there's no my bad. The last game was the last my bad. You can't you can't have one of those games again. Right. Uh, I looked at the rules this morning. They are sticking with the single elimination format for the tournament. Well, that's a problem for a lot of teams out there. <laughs> it's a problem for all 67 teams uh, in out fact, there. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll continue the conversation. How do you feel? Monday of NCAA tournament week is here. The selection Sunday draw came out for Tennessee, a two seed in the Midwest region, getting ready for St. Peter's. They couldn't beat an SEC team in the first round. Are you kidding me? We'll continue the conversation and invite you to join us. Call or text in at 865-656-9900. Next to Jason Swain, I'm Josh Ward on Josh and Swain. The Sports Animal Stream now has streaming-only giveaways. Listen daily to the Sports Animal Stream for keywords to text in for a chance to win. This month, it is Happy's Golden Ticket Sweepstakes at Hiller. You can enter to win by going to the website hillergoldenticket.com. All you have to do is enter your email, and you are automatically entered to win big prizes. These big prizes include a $5,000 Hiller gift card, a $1,000 Hiller gift card, or one of 10 Happy Hiller Club memberships. Take advantage of zero 
interest financing for 48 months on select new HVAC systems or 36 months on tankless water heaters. Also, whole home generators. Do not miss out. Enter to win now. By doing that, enter the win by doing that. Go to HillerGoldenTicket.com. This has been a paid announcement. If you want a great-looking fence or secure entry gate that will stand the test of time, you need to call Stanley Fencing and Gate. Proudly serving East Tennessee since 2000, Stanley Fencing can customize your fence. Just tell Stanley Fencing your idea, they bring it to life. Offering chain link, vinyl, aluminum, wood fences. They even specialize in secure entry gates to protect your business. For customized fencing and gates backed by a warranty, choose the Stanley Fence family. Call 865-254-3844 or online at stanleyfence.com. Spring is here, and it's also known as engagement season. If you've been thinking, hey, now is the time, but you don't know where to go for that perfect ring, you need my jewelry store, TK Wheeler Jewelers. Hey, this is Heather. If you want to stress less and get more bling for your buck, just head on out to South Illinois Avenue in Oak Ridge, the right there next to the Outback Steakhouse. And TK, he's been in business for over 40 years in the Oak Ridge community. He's got his store packed with beautiful gifts for any occasion. But right now, with spring fever popping, you want to pop the big question, you need the perfect engagement ring. Sit down with TK himself. He'll teach you how to buy a diamond. What do all those C's mean? What are the certifications? How do I know what setting she's going to love? He'll really be able to dial in your fiancé's taste and make sure you've got a huge selection of diamonds and engagement ring settings to choose from. They've got everything from classic diamond solitaires to the beautiful diamond halo settings. And if you're like me, I love my diamond eternity band. It's from the one and only TK Wheeler Jewelers. This has been a paid announcement. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, SelectQuote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, call SelectQuote at 1-800-216-9922. That's 1-800-216-9922 or go to selectquote.com. That's 1-800-216-9922. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Full details on example policies at selectquote.com slash commercials. Join us for Mission of Hope's first annual Sporting Clays Tournament, Friday, May 17th at Iron Mountain Sporting Clays in Kodak, Tennessee. Your participation in this event will directly support the Mission of Hope College Scholarship Program. Help our students break the cycle of poverty by breaking some clays. Register a team or become a sponsor today. Go to missionofhope.org for more information. That's missionofhope.org. Help Mission of Hope make a difference one clay at a time. Josh and Swain on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. on Josh and Swain at Josh and Swain on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. How do you feel? Tennessee will play Thursday night. I tell you how I feel, Swain. Fatigued. 920 scheduled tip off time. Are you kidding me? You got a couple days of rest up. It'll be all right. If the game before goes to overtime, I'm questionable for Friday. I'll tell you that much. Tennessee will the play 30 minutes after. <laughs> the the show starts game. at 12. You'll be okay. <laughs> we'll figure things out along the way. 865 656 9900. Uh, we'll get to the phone lines in the text box. Mike says, Smile, Swain. The grass is green. The trees are budding out. Oh, I know that. Oh, yeah. The, the grass is green. <laughs> also, wondering uh, this season, do you think you could add a turf report and rating on all the schools you visit? 
for the Vault Network. <laughs> um, Injury report. That info is tough to come by sometimes, but we trust you with the turf report. I can do that. Mizzou and Kentucky, worthless. <laughs> How are you going to be in the SEC and have turf? It can't be a real SEC football program with turf. So, <laughs> worthless. Georgia's grass, oh, man, it's beautiful. Bama's grass, beautiful. All the major SEC schools, they have awesome turf. They're not lazy like the ones who resort to artificial turf. Just saying. Sun is shining. Hit a freeze, I think, uh, in the next 24 hours. But after that, grass is growing, trees are budding, flowers are all over the place. Springtime is here for Jason Swain. Oh, yeah, I planted me a flower um, yesterday, man. That's what I'm talking about. Happy happy times, man. (laughs) Happy times. 865-656-9900. Corriton Vol, of course, Peepaw Josh is complaining about the tip-off time for Thursday. I just sat there in, in a state of panic, waiting for those tip-off times to come out, and Matt Norlander told me exactly what I feared. 9-20 scheduled start for Tennessee versus St. Peter's. But I will rally because it's tournament time. Let's get Mike's call on Josh and Swain. Mike, thanks for hanging on. Good afternoon. What do you think as the tournament selection is here? Um, I'm not, you know... You know, first, you know, first of all, before uh, before uh, the Kentucky and the Mississippi State debacle, I was thinking that wasn't no way on God's green earth that Tennessee was going to get that number one seed. They could have sit there and beat Kentucky and win the whole thing on the SEC tournament and still got that number one seed. The NCAA NCAA committee is as biased as can be. Anybody can see that. And they was going to aim. They was whether it's going to be Arizona or North Carolina or whoever was going to get that number one seed because in their eyes, they feel that Tennessee is not a walking billboard blue blood team like Kentucky or North Carolina or or any of them you know big box teams I've just mentioned there are. And is and then you know number two they you know it seemed like you know every year. Tennessee like does great during the season, and then come tournament time, it becomes chokacy. It's like you know they you know they peter out, and I'm just got a funny feeling about it. We're playing St. Peter's, same team that Kentucky played a, a while back ago and lost in that first round. If I was Tennessee, I would beat the brakes off these guys and, and make a statement. Because here's the thing, you know the. The the word the words out that the that you know Brick Barnes is you know becomes the great you know regular season coach becomes the choke cards during the postseason, and and still also there's a ghost that's you know the ghost of Bruce Pearl still haunts there at the University of Tennessee. Look who won the SEC tournament Sunday, Bruce Pearl and his Auburn Tigers. The deepest run that Tennessee made was the Elite Eight. Who was the coach back then? Bruce Pearl. If Bruce Pearl was not fired for some, I think it's kind of bogus, you know, invited a, a, a recruit to a barbecue at his house. I'm like, I, that's, I ain't never heard some, a bunch of crock in my life for that. And then all of a sudden, Tennessee gets rid of him. I would say if Bruce Pearl was still the coach, we'd have done had a national title in basketball. That's just my opinion. Mine's just one man opinion. It's not, you know, nobody, you know, you might have the same opinion, you may not, but that's just my opinion. And uh, I think that, you know, what Tennessee basketball needs to do is make a statement, at least get to the Elite Eight and crack the Final Four and shut this Bruce Pearl ghost thing up. That's my opinion. I want, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go and let y'all dwell on that. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Mike. Appreciate you. There was a there's a lot there. Is there a Bruce Pearl ghost? Hell aspect? no. <laughs> That's just what Mike said. Mike came up with that. I was unaware of the Bruce Pearl ghost factor. Eh, Mike just made that up. It's not been. It's this not, is just won the regular season SEC title. It's not been a, a, a trending uh, saying, a narrative that Tennessee has to fight against. Tennessee's had the best record in the SEC in the last couple of years. Yeah, There's yeah. There's no ghost no, of Bruce Pearl. Yeah, Bruce is doing great. Uh, he, he's doing awesome. He's done an awesome job at, at Auburn. But Why I, are we complaining about something that didn't even happen? <laughs> we, 
I don't know. We got beat tw- two times in a row. North Carolina looked great, lost in the championship game, but they they're number one seed. So why are we complaining about other teams? You know, uh, the, the committee being biased when we didn't handle our business. If we would have won the two games, we would have been number one seed. Yeah, yeah. If, if that had happened, uh, I agree. The way things played out, I honestly don't know what the case for Tennessee against North Carolina would be for a one seed. North Carolina had a better record overall, better record against quad one opponents, and they beat Tennessee head to head. So, what would Tennessee's case against North Carolina? Be? I don't even know anybody making that argument. Yeah, point. I mean, so, I think ten- Tennessee is seated fairly, fairly, yeah, a two seed in the Midwest, yeah, uh, based on what it accomplished this season. <laughs> Ghost of Bruce Pearl. Listen, yeah. man, I, I I think Bruce Pearl gets his guys ready to play more than or better than a lot of coaches in college basketball at this time of the year. What he said to his team about. Going on a nine-game winning streak, man, those guys are playing with their hair on fire. Mm-hmm. Um, that's one thing we can say about Bruce Pearl. But you can't take away what Tennessee has done uh, under Rick Barnes' last couple of years. Um, Tennessee, uh, in the last two, they've beaten they've beaten Auburn. Um, but Auburn's coming into the tournament with more, more momentum. And if you're an Auburn fan, you probably feel better about Auburn's chances than a Tennessee fan right now based on <laughs> – uh, the last two games of, of the regular season, but yeah, Auburn's no playing the chip on our shoulder card uh, oh. with where they're seated, and they should. Tennessee did that two years ago; didn't mean anything. The Vols lost to Michigan in the second round after they won the SEC tournament. Felt like they weren't seated fairly. So, uh, a lot of this is just filler until the the games tip off on Thursday and Friday. But yeah, there's there's no ghost of Bruce Pearl. Tennessee, Tennessee. No. And uh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Bruce Pearl lied. He lied. He he was fired, rightfully so, for lying. Now, he was thrown under the bus by his own administration. We get that, but you can't sit there and make it seem like he just got fired for a barbecue. No, he got fired for lying, and you can't lie to the NCAA. That's the reason. So let's let's make sure that the, the, the truth is, is mentioned. You can't lie. All right, so we are two segments in to the show. We have four, eight, 12. We have 10 more to go. Two segments in, Swain. Are you now feeling better about Tennessee's chances of making a run to the Final Four? Have, have I helped you feel better, <laughs> me and, and Mike? Have we helped Mike you? didn't do anything to help, by He the didn't way. help? Okay. At, at all. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tina in the YouTube chat. We just won the <laughs> Sorry, SEC Mike. championship. Yep. Sorry, Mike. Huh? Uh, Tina noting what I mentioned as well. Tennessee just won the SEC regular season title outright. So the ghost of Bruce Pearl. He, there is no ghost. Of, Bruce is just down in Auburn. He's doing a great job with the Tigers. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> they got to go to Spokane. Like, their gripes, their gripes are, I think, are legitimate. They gotta, oh, they, 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 got, they got screwed. They, they did. I mean, I know their uh, record versus quad one opponents is not that great, but mm-hmm. for them to go on a run – in the hardest league in the country, and put well, Rick Pitino saying, "What are we even using the net ranking for?" I I'm asking the same question. Auburn's ranked fifth, but they're a four seed. St. John's and Indiana State, they're both in the top thirty-two. Neither one of them are in. I mean, how was Kentucky Virginia a three is. and Auburn was a four? That that makes no sense to me. Indiana State ranks twenty-six spots higher than Virginia which blew it in the ACC tournament the other night. But Virginia's in. Okay. Is Virginia in? Well, that's a fair question. (laughs) (laughs) Are they in? We'll find out here in the next couple of days. 865-656-9900. Can you make Swain feel better? Mike. Or worse. That's a possibility, too. I still think there's, there's room for worse as we continue right here on Josh and Swain. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. Defending national champion UConn is the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament that begins this week. The Huskies went 31-3 and won the Big East tournament and finished 7-2 this season against teams ranked 
in the AP Top 25. UConn is joined on the number one seed line by Houston, Purdue, and North Carolina, who will headline the four regions in this year's bracket. Tennessee is the number two seed in the Midwest region with the Boilermakers. The Vols will take on number 15 seed St. Peter's on Thursday night at 920. The Lady Vols are the number six seed in Regional Four in Portland and will open up the NCAA Women's Tournament in Raleigh, North Carolina against 11 seed Green Bay on Saturday at noon. Should the Lady Vols win, they will face the winner of number three seed NC State and number 14 seed Chattanooga. South Carolina, Iowa, USC, and Texas are the four number one seeds in the women's bracket. I'm Joel Silverberg. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. We were just talking about trying to feel better. Well, a workout, a plan being in place, and creating a habit of getting to the gym, getting your workout in, that can make you feel better physically, mentally. It goes together, and Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center can help with that. With more than 85 group fitness classes each week, they make it easy for you if you need that extra push, if you need somebody to help you with a workout plan, you can join one of their classes included with your membership. They have everything you need with equipment, with space for weight training, cardio, the indoor track that's available for you. I love using the indoor track. They have a, a great outdoor track, by the way, as the warmer temperatures are coming. If you want to get outside for a walk, a jog, whatever the case might be, plus an indoor swimming pool that's available 12 months out of the year. And the outdoor pool is about to open. Personal training is available. They have indoor and outdoor tennis racquetball courts, a basketball court, and so much more. It's a top-of-the-line, five-star facility, and when you sign up, it's month-to-month. -month. Stop by, check it out for yourself, and tell them the sports animal sent you to Fort Sanders Health and Fitness Center. This has been a big announcement. Warmer weather is right around the corner, and Dick and Sturf and Landscape Supply is your go-to for great lawns this year. They have the best fertilizers available and carry top equipment brands like Toro, Ferris, Wright, and Hustler Mowers, as well as Echo and Red Max products. Dickens is running their winter service special through March, and that includes free pickup and delivery on zero-turn mowers. In the market for a new zero-turn this year, Dickens has the best selection in East Tennessee with financing and free delivery when you buy a new mower. Come see Dickens in Knoxville or Miraville or online at Dickens supply.com wow these bank fees are flat out ridiculous and forget about trying to get a car or home loan so uh you do your banking with sharon me i don't you use a bank no so what do you like save your money under a mattress bury it in the backyard or maybe you borrow from some rich relative when you need a loan no nothing like that i do credit unioning wait what credit unioning it's kind of like banking, but so much better, especially if you use Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union. Shopping for an auto loan? Shopping for a vehicle is easy the ATFCU way. Talk to Alcoa 10 before you shop so you can hit the lots with a same-day pre-approved loan, and you can get behind the wheel of that new or used car or truck. Alcoa 10 Federal Credit Union, the clear choice, your less red tape banking alternative. Go to atfcu.com for details. Member NCUA, an equal housing lender. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Fortis offers, and when the madness starts and Cinderella, <laughs> man steps onto the <laughs> Bet US always has your back with <laughs> back to back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits <laughs> and even 10% gambler's insurance. <laughs> BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game. <laughs> Join today, Bet US Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. It's time to transform your old, outdated kitchen into the dream space you and your family want. Kitchen Sales can make those dreams a reality. Kitchen Sales carries the largest selection of fine kitchen and bathroom cabinetry that ranges from a more affordable line all the way up to a fully custom line. See the selection for yourself at one of their two amazing showrooms, Hoyt Avenue, just off Cherry Street, and in the Town & Country Circle near Best Buy. For more information, go to kitchensales.net. Kitchen Sales, Kitchen Sales. Cabinets and countertops, we are the place to shop. Come on down. This report is sponsored by Rhino Shield. Don't pay, don't find no. Go Rhino Shield. Spring is here and make it the last time you'll have to paint your house with Rhino Shield ceramic coating. Comes with a 25 year warranty. RhinoShieldTN.com. You paint a house, but you Rhino Shield your home. 
Overall, it's a cooler day. Highs are near 50. Winds are from the northwest, gusting up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. So that might make it feel closer to about the low to mid 40s this afternoon. Frosty cold night as we drop it to those mid to upper 20s. More sunshine warming up for your Tuesday. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Some law firms specialize in one thing, but there's one here in East Tennessee that specializes in them all. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. All facts, no fluff. Honest, credible sports information from two guys that know the facts. Here's Josh and Swain on The Sports Animal. We're back on Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. Swain's trying to get over this past Friday. I'm trying to get over the fact that the second half of the upcoming game will probably be played early Friday morning. Uh, Crombie with this text. This, this We've used this the last few weeks, but it applies. Uh, why did the old man fall down the well? He didn't see that well. Down in Chattanooga. That's Chris. That is an oldie. In this case, kind of literal, but a goodie. I thought, so I, thought, that. I thought we're trying to make me feel better about Tennessee's chances. We're not doing that anymore? I'm kind of over that. Oh, okay. Kind of over that effort. That's yeah, cool. I don't think it's going to work. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, Bo from Auburn has texted in with a lack of confidence going in. Well, Maybe that's good. That can... Provides a refocus. You don't want to be too confident. You mean overconfident? You mean fans say. or or the or the team or the players? Well, maybe there's a a transfer of energy. Yeah, maybe I'm trying too hard. I think maybe <laughs> I think maybe you are, but like Zakai Ziegler gives me gives me confidence. Because what I saw from him was, I don't think anyone quit. There are some guys that kind of got gut punched and didn't play with the same type of urgency Mm -hmm. and kind of backed down a little bit. I don't think anyone quit, but Zakai continued to fight, continued to scrap. And I feel good about him because this time last year, he couldn't help his team. The last time he was able to help his team was two years ago in this position when he was a freshman. And so I got confidence in Zakai. I got confidence in Don Connect. But I, 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 need, I, need, I need some more confidence in some guys. Uh, I think Meshack is a dog. But, like, outside those three – I don't know what I'm going to get beyond St. Peter's. That's why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, because I saw what I saw on Friday. It's time for Santi to come off the bench. It's you time. move him to the bench? It's time. Yeah, it's time. Yeah, it's, it's time for Jamal Meshack to start. You make a uh, Clay Thompson move. The Warriors have yep. moved Clay Thompson to the bench. He's yep. performed better in that role. Yeah. Yeah. Big Santi fan. Love me some Santi. But he had two shots that hit the backboard. Now, he had one that rimmed out, too. But he had two that hit the backboard. Confidence-wise, he, he, he's not where he needs to be. Meshack gives you the same, if not better, defense. Probably better defense. And Meshack is shooting it better right now. I don't care if Santi's a senior or not. I think Santi coming off the bench against St. Peter's would be totally worth it. We had a conversation with Ron Slay 
about Santi coming off the bench and is it too late because you're already in postseason play? Was that something you should have done maybe a couple games ago? But I feel like if you're playing St. Peter's, don't tell St. Peter's this. Don't say this if you are the coach or if you're a player. But, like, I feel like you can get away with playing Meshack in the start lineup against St. Peter's and see how it goes with Santi coming off the bench and seeing if that gets gets him going and he's able to make shots. Yeah, Tennessee shouldn't have to play its best basketball to win this game. The Vols are 19-and-a-half point favorites. And this is it's a 2-15 game. Let me say this. I didn't think I need to. Okay. But this is not the same team from last year. St. Peter's. This, yeah, this, two years ago, they knocked off. Yeah, two Kentucky. years ago. Mm-hmm. Was, so, like, this program ain't the same from two years ago. This team is not the same from two years ago. So, if you're just looking at St. Peter's and saying, oh, my gosh, it's the same team that beat Kentucky. It's not the same team. Not the same players. Not the same coach. It's not the same team. Now, there's a dude on their team that has the same last name. The last name is one of the guys on our team in Ziegler. Yep. And I don't think it's fair that he's 6'4". I don't, I don't understand how that happened. But they're, You think Zakai thinks it's fair? I'm sure he doesn't. <laughs> Zakai has a brother on the St. Peter's team. So, like, yep. they're not the same team that beat Kentucky or the same program. They have different players, a different coach. Mm-hmm. But we know that two years ago the, that fan base felt the feeling of knocking down Goliath, and they did that versus Kentucky. We got to make sure it doesn't happen to us. But yeah, we 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 should be able to handle St. Peter's by twenty plus without playing our best. And I think this is a good time for you to experiment with Santi coming off the coming off the bench. Yeah, excuse my inclusion of Ken Palm because I'll do it so many times this week. But to your point, the team two years ago, while that was a Cinderella run that St. Peter's went on. They were ranked 102nd in the country, which is not overly impressive. But this year's team ranks 187th yeah. in the country. Yeah, ain't nowhere close. Yeah. But somebody's going to get upset. It's going to happen. It happens every year. You just have to make sure it's not, it's not you. We've seen MTSU beat Michigan State as a 15th seed. We've seen Virginia get knocked off. We've seen Purdue get knocked off. Um it's happened before. We just can't allow it to happen to us. Here's one. Lenny texted in. This has got to be for you. Tennessee's getting to the Final Four. Z and Meshack were ticked. I'm editing a little bit. Josiah was ticked. Dalton was ticked. It feels like after that Texas A&M loss to me. And says Tennessee will beat St. Peter's by 30. Okay. And I don't think we need to make a statement against St. Peter's because yeah, that, I it, wouldn't worry about it that. doesn't really matter if you make a statement or not. As long as you are advancing, the next team that you play against will not care what statement you make. They're not going to be intimidated. Every team understands that they are one possession away from going home, and they're going to give you all that they got. So making a statement just really doesn't matter in the NCAA tournament in the first round. Like, you're not going to get extra points for beating a team by 20 or 30. You're not going to get moved by the next next team or advanced to the next round because of the, the, the win margin. It just doesn't matter. Just play well enough to win consistently for four four games. Don't have to play perfect, just well enough to win. If you do that, you'll be where you want to be April the 8th. We have survived this segment. We advanced to the next right here on Josh and Swain, 865-656-9900. If you would like to join us, text box is open. How do you feel? Confidence level. Tennessee gets ready for St. Peter's. And if Tennessee wins, which it should, on Saturday the Vols will play the winner of Texas versus Virginia or Colorado State, which is playing in the play-in round before the first round. We'll continue the conversation and invite you to join us right here 
on Josh and Swain. Is there anything more fun than streaming 99.1 The Sports Animal? Better answer that very carefully. I'll take that as an answer of at least one thing. It's time to start looking for a vehicle for maybe yourself, maybe your business. Well, Freedom Motors is the place for you. They will work with you to find that right vehicle. Make sure it's at the right price and the right financing. Freedom Motors uses their power with local credit unions to make sure that you get the best deal possible on that next ride. Freedom Motors on Maynardville Pike and Halls have a, has a full selection of cars and trucks, vans, campers, RVs, power sports vehicles, whatever you need. They have you covered. Every vehicle comes with a 90-day warranty, and your financing is guaranteed. Freedom Motors can bring the vehicle right to your front door. Check out the selection at Freedom Motors on Maynardville Pike or online at FreedomMotorsTN.com. This has been a paid announcement. Ah, spring. It's time to open up the house and let in the fresh air and sunshine, unless your windows are foggy. <sighs> and you can't see out of them if they're foggy. They're no longer energy efficient, too. Let Instiglass restore your windows and doors before the summer heat strikes. Instiglass can have crystal clear glass installed fast. Get glass fast by calling Instiglass at 865-567-4555. I-N-S-T-I glass.com. The economy is changing. Uncertainty is everywhere. Now, more than ever, people have serious questions about their financial future. Hi, I'm Mark Pankrath, former UT men's basketball coach and now financial advisor for Axiom Wealth Management. Questions are normal, fear is understandable, but you can have financial peace of mind with a solid game plan. My team and I bring over 100 years of experience answering questions and creating financial solutions. Get in touch with us today at axiom.nm.com to schedule a no-obligation consultation. Axiom Wealth Management is a Northwestern Mutual private client group. Cumulus Knoxville is proud to sponsor the 20th Annual Covenant Health Knoxville Marathon, Half Marathon, and Relay on Sunday, April 7th. For the youngsters, the Covenant Kids Run is April 6th at 5.30 p.m., followed by the Covenant Health 5K at 7 p.m. All events feature a fantastic finish line at Historic World's Fair Park. Online registration is still open for all events through April 2nd. Go to KnoxvilleMarathon.com to register today. That's KnoxvilleMarathon.com. We'll see you on April 7th. If you're stocking your bar or in need of a great hostess gift, pick up a bottle of Three Finger Jack Cabernet Sauvignon. When I want a good glass of red wine, I want a nice flavor that's not too heavy. Three Finger Jack is a full fruit flavor with a medium body to make it a really nice wine everyone's going to love. Also, try Three Finger Jack Chardonnay. It's a full-bodied and opulent and offers suave aromas nuanced with delicate white summer flowers and toasted almond with a hint of whiskey barrel. Look no further than Three Finger Jack Cabernet and Chardonnay. Great wines at a great price. They're coming, and they're ready to bug you. Are you ready? If not, we can arm your home with the pest defense you need to survive. Tommy's Pest Solutions. Let us rid your home of those pesky insects and let you enjoy a bug-free home. Get a free quote right now at Thomas Pest Solutions at 566-8444. No obligations. No binding contracts. Thomas Pest Solutions. We believe in solutions, not control. Goodbye, bugs. Bird Kreischer presents Tops Off World Tour. I look at my dad, I go, hey dad, maybe we should sit down. I don't think your owl's out tonight. 30 seconds later, <laughs> right on top of it, we hear, <laughs> my oldest daughter goes, dad, look across the lake at the old man on his dock. There's another drunk, blind, old white man just, <laughs> Bird Kreischer, live on stage at Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center, Saturday, April 6th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. I'm Michael Jenkins helping you beat the hook to make you out. The madness is here, and it's never too early to get those first-round bets in. Arizona just missed out on being a number one seed in the tournament, but the Wildcats are the two seed in the West and will take on 15th-seeded Long Beach State on Thursday. Arizona has lost two of its last three, but the make you a model is not expecting Long Beach State to keep up with the Cats. Their five-star best, but Thursday's action is to lay the points with Arizona. I'm Michael Jenkins. Bet smarter and beat the books at BetQL. Download the BetMGM app today. eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive 
at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. From the Budweiser Studios of the Sports Animal, we are 99.1, the Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thank you for being with us. Just heard his name, his voice, Burt Kreischer. Your chance to go see him April 6th at the Food City Center. The Tops Off World Tour. Right now, if you're the first caller to 656 wins, you win a pair of tickets to go see Burt Kreischer. It's going to be a great time April 6th at the Food City Center with the Tops Off World Tour. And the next caller to 656 wins wins a pair of tickets. If you don't win right now, be listening. We'll give away tickets each day here on Josh and Swain for your chance to go see Burt Kreischer in Knoxville. They keep bringing in heavy hitters to Knoxville. He's the latest. Burt Kreischer coming to town April 6th here in Knoxville. We continue to invite your calls and texts and thoughts ahead of the game coming up on Thursday. The Vols will open NCAA tournament play against St. Peter's. Randall says, right on, Swain. About how I feel. Yeah, I think your uh, your overall feelings. That came in around the time of your suggestion that Santi go to the bench, Jemai Meshack go into the starting lineup. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not ideal to make changes to your start lineup in your first game in the NCAA tournament, but I just I kind of feel like this thing has been overdue for a couple of games. And you appreciate Santi as – um, you know, a senior, someone decided to come back, someone that could have went pro. But are you going to do what's best for, for your team? Or are you going to allow a player to play simply because he's a senior? I mean, in the last couple of games, Meshack has played better. And it's obviously in Santi's head because – We've never seen him shoot like this before. So to maybe help him change his role, minutes don't have to change. But if he comes off the bench, the game is different for him. He's able to play more free and have more confidence shooting the basketball. Then that may be the change that you <clears throat> need to get your other players outside of Connect and, and Z going, making open shots. Yeah, last three games for Vescovy, 0 for 4, 0 for 3, 0 for 2 behind the three-point line. He scored six total points in those three games against South Carolina, Kentucky, and Mississippi State. He was one of six on Friday overall. Well, do, do the same for Meshack in the last three games. In the la- I mean, in the last three games, I mean, he shot the ball better. I mean, anything is better than 0 for 8, 0 for 6 or 7, whatever – you, know, you you just said, it, but like, yeah, Meshack last three games on Friday he scored ten points, hit four of six shots, one of two behind the three point line. Before that, one of three, zero oh for two. Uh, he has only taken three three pointers combined in the last three games. He is five of eleven overall in those three games, twelve points. Yeah, missing miss wide open Play, threes, man. That, yeah, playing less a, minutes. It's fairly close, but less minutes. Yeah, missing wide open threes, it can, it can, it can kill you because now those long rebounds are being converted into fast break points the other direction. We saw that versus Mississippi State. So, I mean, it's one thing to miss jump shots. It's another thing to miss three-point shots because those rebounds are coming off longer. And if you don't get it, then it's off to the races for the other team. may not matter against St. Peter's, but it matters against a team as good as South Carolina or Mississippi State or someone else that Tennessee may play that's on the same level as those teams. Brandon, with a question to ponder for when we come back as we are about out of time for hour number one, but Brandon, with this question, knowing Tennessee has won an SEC regular season championship, Knowing the one-and-done result in the SEC tournament, 
how far does Tennessee need to go in this tournament for the season to be a success? 865-656-9900. If you would like to ponder and weigh in as well, you can call or text in to be a part of today's show. We have two more hours to get you ready for the start of the tournament for Tennessee. We'll look around the tournament. Tennessee football has begun spring practice. We invite you to join us, 865-656-9900, to be a part of the show. Next to Jason Swain, I'm Josh Ward. As we continue for two more hours on both, 99.1 The Sports Animal and AM640 The Sports Monster. Hey, Knoxville. Starting May 9th, you can fly nonstop to New Haven, Connecticut with Avello Airlines. With Avello, you can say goodbye to layovers and hello to hassle-free travel with everyday low fares, reliable service, and no change or cancel fees. Book your trip today at AvelloAir.com and get ready to say hello to Avello. That's A-V-E-L-O-A-I-R.com. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Wilson Brothers Plumbing. This is the company that we have trusted at my home multiple times. When we've needed help with plumbing at our house, with a project that we worked on, with a problem that we experienced, each time we called Wilson Brothers Plumbing and they helped us with exactly what we needed. With the project that we were planning, they came out and looked at what we thought we needed done. They told us how they could do the job for us. Gave us a very fair price, did the job, did a great job for us. About a year ago, last spring sometime, when we ran into an underground leak issue at our house, they came out and told us what was going on and gave us an upfront price that was very fair, and then they fixed the job for us. We knew that we were well taken care of calling Wilson Brothers Plumbing. If you Google their name, Wilson Brothers Plumbing, you'll see five-star reviews from people in East Tennessee talking about the honesty and the integrity that comes with Wilson Brothers and the great work that they do. You can call Wilson Brothers Plumbing at 865-415-1537. You can go online to wilsonbrothersplumbing.com. Wilson Brothers, the proof is in the plumbing. This has been a big announcement. Do you want a brand new kitchen that looks like it could be in a magazine? You need kitchen sales. Did you buy a rental property and you need to update the kitchen, but you're also on a budget? You need kitchen sales. Are all of your employees finally back at the office, but you need to update the communal kitchen? Guess what? You need kitchen sales. Hey, this is Heather. Kitchen sales has been transforming kitchens and bathrooms in East Tennessee for over 55 years. They know how to build the best kitchen or bathroom for your style of home, for your office, and for your budget. They've got two great showrooms full of inspiration for you. They have a design team that's going to put your perfect space together. And then they've got a team of installers that is going to put your dream space together perfectly. You can start your journey in one of three ways. Visit their showroom on Hoyt Avenue in downtown just off Cherry Street. You can swing by their location just off North Peters Road in the Town and Country Circle Shopping Center. Or you can go online and see some amazing before and afters at kitchensales.net. Is retirement around the corner? If so, this message is for you. This is Eric Ainge with Senior Benefit Inc. And they specialize in all things Medicare, a local family-owned brokerage company that can help you if you're leaving your group coverage and entering that Medicare free-for-all. That can be frustrating. And Senior Benefit Inc. Don't make the difficult decisions alone. All you have to do is call Senior Benefit Inc. and let them help you. Their services are free and confidential. Call them, guys, 865-862-4298 or online at GetSBI.com. Hey, this is the Fat Jack, and we're ready for a great mat this run. Are you making money this year? A $100 client of mine's up over $5,000 this hoop season, and that's after the service fee. Want to get the best grade of the year for football? Sign up now. Want free baseball? Sign up now. Want to get the Triple Crown races in horses for free? Sign up now. Go to FatJackSports.com to get the best rate of the entire year. Make money all March long and beyond. Spring into profit at FatJackSports.com. FatJackSports.com. Life is all about choices. Wings are no different. Fire breathing hot or sweet chili lime. A next level lunch or dinner with the crew for the game. Share with your wingman or rock your own personal drum solo. Big Kahuna Wings has you covered no matter how you chow. For over 25 years, we've been the real Big Kahuna here in Knoxville, slinging world famous wings, burgers, fries, and more. Big Kahuna Wings. Come see us for lunch or dinner today. Visit us in Farragut or West Town or order online at bkwings.com. Let's just wing it, shall we? This is WNML AM Knoxville. WNML FM Friendsville. Screening worldwide on the 
the Sports Animal app and website, 991thesportsanimal.com. 99.1 The Sports Animal, the station where the balls play. This is Andrew Bogish with a CBS Sports Minute sponsored by Angie. Angie makes it easier than ever to get your home projects done well. Get started at Angie.com. Ivy League basketball had a great Sunday. The men's final between Yale and Brown was the best game of the day, decided at the buzzer. And then the Columbia women were given a much-deserved at-large bid in that bracket just the second time, and Ivy survived the bubble. I'm Andrew Bogish. The Angie's List you know and trust is now Angie, and we're so much more than just a list. We still connect you with top local pros and show you ratings and reviews, but now we also let you compare upfront prices on hundreds of projects and book a service instantly. We can even handle the rest of your project from start to finish. So remember, Angie's List is now Angie, and we're here to get your job done right. Get started at Angie.com. That's A-N-G-I, or download the app today ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Life's troubles aren't always fun, but there's a law group in town who will help you get them done. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Hour number two of Josh and Swain is here. Thank you for being with us. Two hours to go. We appreciate you hanging out. However, you are tuning in on your radio dial, streaming live. You can watch on YouTube as well. We'd love for you to subscribe to the 99.1 Sports Animal YouTube channel. You can join us as well, 865-656-9900. Brandon asked the question in the text box last segment. How far does this team need to go in the NCAA tournament for the season to be considered a success? James Indicator says Tennessee needs to get to the Elite Eight or Final Four. Anything else, and the season will go down the drain. Will be the same old song and dance, the Tennessee choke dance. Kevin says Elite Eight minimum. If Tennessee loses to Purdue, that's understandable, but no upsets. Elite Eight. Elite Eight. And if I'm understanding that text correctly, Elite Eight, but you better not be losing to Gonzaga or Kansas. You lose to Purdue, the one seed, okay, that is what it is. Lose to four seed Kansas, that's no good. But the first two uh, responses, at least the Elite Eight. I mean, there's not a team on here that's better than Tennessee except for Purdue. In this bracket, in the Midwest bracket. Now, Creighton. Creighton, Creighton could be a problem. Creighton's they, a good team. Because they can just shoot your eyeballs out. And they spread you out. They gave UConn all they wanted, plus some, because they they caught an L to uh, to Creighton. But Creighton is top 25 in offense and defense this season. Really good. That's the three seed in the Elite, elite, elite eight, man. Elite eight or bus, I, I think, is fair. What about you? I think that's probably right. If Tennessee goes to the Sweet 16, loses a close one where it could go either way, it's obviously really disappointing in the moment. I think a couple of days later I would say you wanted to go far. You wanted to go beyond the Sweet 16 because you've done that a number of times. It's about can you go play for a Final Four shot? They've done it once in the loss to Michigan State in 2010. But I would say regular season outright championship, that still counts for a lot. Sweet 16 is not nothing. But, yeah, I think for most people, and probably the way that I would grade the season, if this team with 
what they have personnel wise, having added Dalton Connect, a likely lottery pick, having added Kai Ziegler back after not having him last year when the team still made the Sweet 16, if they can't go beyond last year's result, would feel like a big disappointment. Yeah, I mean, you've checked one box on your season goals. The first one was to win the regular season. The second one was to win the conference tourney. The third one was to get to the Final Four. And right now, you've checked one. Only one more is available. We understand how hard it is to get to the Final Four. If you play your best and you lose to Purdue, it's going to stink, but it won't stink as much as you losing to a team and you didn't play your best coming off of two L's in a row late in the season where you should have learned your lesson early in the season when you didn't come ready to play against a and when you didn't come ready to play against South Carolina. You're supposed to learn your lesson in those those mm-hmm. moments, but I guess I guess we have it. Now, I do give Kentucky um, – you know, some grace there because the senior day is tough. I mean, yeah, and Kentucky's playing lights out. Uh, we made several mistakes, but, man, they were making threes all they over the place. They shot better than 50%, 50% from yeah, three. Man, yeah. like, like that's, that's ridiculous. But at the same time, like, Mississippi State is no, no excuse. So, if Tennessee falls short of going to Elite Eight, I'll say, hey, man, won the regular season. But outside of that, you didn't reach your goals, and it's not much – different than losing to Michigan two years ago. Outside of you won regular season one year, tournament, SEC tournament another year, but you lost to a team you should have beat. Lloyd in Gatlinburg says no pondering needed, Elite Eight or better. Everybody's picking to go to Elite Eight. So it's not like Tennessee fans' expectations are outrageous and, and ridiculous no they're they're in line with all the experts mm-hmm. who have watched you play all year long so you've played a certain t- a certain type of way all season and the regular season which is why the experts feel good about you they've talked about your defense they've talked about your offense you've done it consistently if you don't do it and you get yourself beat by one of these lower tier teams, then you're going to deserve every criticism that's coming your way. Matt asks in the text box, which teams rank top 10 in both offense and defense? I mentioned Creighton top 25 in both offense and defense. Uh, Tennessee for the record is uh, top 10 in defense, but offensively they are 29th, third in defense, 29th in offense, which is not bad. Uh, the Vols would like to be better there and they're better than they've been. Uh, there is one team, I believe. Is that UConn? Uh, no, UConn is close. UConn is number one in offense, number 11 in defense. That's pretty good. The one team that is in the top 10 of both offense and defense. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Top 10? Top 10 in both categories. Oh, the ghost. It's the ghost. <laughs> the boogeyman. Bruce Pearl's Auburn Tigers. Uh, Ranked number four in defense and number 10 offensively. Arizona's number eight offensively, number 12 defensively. That's pretty good. Kentucky is number five offensively, but 108th in defense. Houston. Alabama is second offensively. Sorry. No, yeah. They, they, 112th yeah. defensively. I don't know why you mentioned Alabama. Uh, Houston, 17th offensively and two defensively. All these teams mm-hmm. have an opportunity to go go win the whole deal. Yeah. But, of course, Auburn's top ten in both. Of course. Of course. North Carolina, 24th offensively, 6th defensively. Yeah, their profile is very similar to Tennessee. There are a few spots behind Tennessee on defense, a few spots ahead on offense. Mm-hmm. Record is similar. They are the fourth one seed. Tennessee is the fifth two seed. Makes sense that they are seeded close. Tennessee was fifth overall in the one through 68 ranking. The best defense team is Iowa State now. And they are 55th offensively. Boy, they sure look like it against 
Houston the other night. Whew. They were balling, man. They look like a Final Four team. Where are they? Um, ooh, number two seed out there in the East. The the region is a nightmare. Now, of course, they don't. They all don't play each other. Somebody gets knocked off along the way. But the one through four in that region: UConn, top team in the country going in; Iowa State just won the Big Twelve tournament; Illinois, the three seed, just won the Big Ten tournament; and Auburn, the four seed, just won the SEC tournament. That's brutal. That is brutal. So the number one overall seed probably got the toughest bracket. You look at Tennessee and where they are sitting, really favorable. No complaints about the draw. My complaints are simply about the way we play lately. And my what happened concerns. on Friday? Huh? What happened? <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to figure it out. I have no clue. You playing for number one seed. You're playing for number one seed. In March, mm-hmm. it's one thing to play against Mississippi State first you know, SEC game or beginning of the season, and you're riding high and they're trying to get respect. But they, this is supposed to be a revenge game. And they came out punching the mouth. Yeah, we can't cite the revenge record anymore but that like if they get another shot at purdue the revenge record's kind of thrown out after the mississippi state result they've only played three games but that's what makes it even more mind-numbing is because this team punked you Mm -hmm. at the hump early in the season yep so you you knew what to expect and they came in and did it again yeah that was our our big was a more emphatic punking on friday our bigs mm-hmm. ought to be ashamed. Ought to be ashamed. And that's me saying it mildly. Yeah, I mean, the the reality is Jonas got that all-SEC recognition earlier in the week, and it didn't show up against Mississippi State's bigs. Nope. At all. Like, Tola Smith had foul trouble. It didn't even matter. No. And I, I, I'll be honest, the early in the second half, he got that early foul trouble. He goes to the bench. Tennessee had a short run to start, the like, the first four minutes. They won the first four minutes, and I thought, okay, Tennessee's going yeah, well, to make something of this. Yeah. And it halted right there. Mississippi State punched right back and punched back harder. And that was all she wrote. That was it. That was it. So... That's why I feel the way I feel, man. If Tennessee would have made, you know, better run in the tournament, I'd probably be more optimistic. But I can't, I can't lie. I can't hide my feelings on this one. I just don't feel good right now. We don't lie on Josh and Swain. I don't feel good. So we're seventy minutes into today's show. We're having a great time. Seventy minutes in, have it made you feel any better than when the clock struck twelve today? No, Josh. Yeah. No. Maybe I'll feel better March the 23rd or 24th about our tournament chances, our tournament, our long tournament run chances. But I'm not going to feel any different no matter what happens against St. Peter's. But if we play Texas and we play well against Texas, then I'll, I'll feel good about going into the next round. But mm-mm. and that's the thing about the regular season. Like you play every couple of days. Mm-hmm. So if you have a stinker, yeah. You have opportunity to kind of fix it in two or three days. But here we are, it's March eighteenth. Uh you know, Tennessee played on the fifteenth. So from the fifteenth all the way until the twenty third, that's a long time, Josh. For me to be wondering what team I'm going to see and which way my emotions should go. It's a lot of limbo right there. <laughs> it's going to be, be quite an eight-day stretch for Jason Swain. Nico, Can you believe they're tipping Nico off at 920? I don't care about that, Josh. I'm on grown. Thursday night? 
I'm grown, man. I'm, I'm okay. I'm not four. I don't need to get in the bed about 830. Hey, my four-year-old goes to bed at 920 at night, bounces right back up the next day. I can't promise the same for myself. No, you don't have to, man. It's the NCAA tournament. Tournament time, Josh. It's tournament time. It's okay, man. You'll catch up on that sleep. You know how they worry about tired legs? Tired mind right here. 865-656-9900. Uh, we'll continue to get your thoughts ahead of the NCAA tournament. Nico, Swain mentioned it. Nico out there on the practice field. Now, that's a good time. We'll talk about that as we move along as well. And, again, invite you along the way. 865-656-9900 to join us on Josh and Swain. Yesterday's transistor radio is today's cell phone, but the signal is now worldwide. Stream us everywhere. 99.1 The Sports Animal. Elevate your products today with Native Nursery. Now open to contractors and landscapers. We're your one stop destination, offering quality wholesale plants, trees, and landscaping materials. We'll even take your leaves and hardscape waste for a low flat rate. If you're a contractor or landscaper, make Native Nursery your go-to location today. Call or come by and see Ben and Ted. 865-315-0123 in 3473 Louisville Road. Five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Hi, this is Scott Trout of Cordell & Cordell. There are a lot of great dads out there. Sometimes those dads get divorced. For more than 30 years, we have represented men in divorce, confronting the pitfalls that could devastate your finances or harm your family relationships. While every situation is different, our goal is to get the best outcome for you and your kids. Visit CordellCordell.com to take the first step. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's Knoxville area attorneys. 408 North Cedar Bluff Road, Suite 425, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37923. Paid for by Cordell and Cordell. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to a Apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. For over 100 years, Marvin has been helping contractors and homeowners bring their building projects to life. Marvin Windows and Doors will inspire you to create with confidence, value, and distinction. When you choose expertly crafted Marvin products from Hiwassee Window, you have the support you need to make every window and door project a success. Let their professional sales staff, with over 90 years combined experience, help you choose the right product. Find your Marvin Windows and Doors today at Hiwassee Window, 865-675-3690, just off Level Road. Pay attention, sports bettors. Danny B here. Make sure to call our free pick hotline, 877-828-0120. Every day we release raw number winners free on a recorded message, 877-828-0120. Also visit us at rawnumberwins.com and learn and earn like a pro sports better. Three daily raw number winners, 877-828-0120. Rawnumberwins.com. Join us for Mission of Hope's first annual Sporting Clays Tournament, Friday, May 17th at Iron Mountain Sporting Clays in Kodak, Tennessee. Your participation in this event will directly support the Mission of Hope College Scholarship Program. Help our students break the cycle of poverty by breaking some clays. Register a team or become a sponsor today. Go to missionofhope.org for more information. That's missionofhope.org. Help Mission of Hope make a difference one clay at a time. Fall baseball is back on 99.1, the sports animal. And Ted Russell Ford want to give you a chance to win a porch for you and your crew to watch a Vols game this season. Check out 99.1, the sports and get signed up. And you could be cheering on the Vols from the outfield while enjoying this unique fan experience with you and your friends. So batter up, good luck, and go Vols. From Ted Russell Ford in 99.1, the sports animal. When you're preparing for your presentation, what you say matters. Your delivery matters. The quality matters. Your image matters. So trust Image Matters, Knoxville's most respected office technology dealer to create the image you want. Image Matters is locally owned and operated, offering total document output solutions to fit both your needs and budget. From multifunction printers to production printing, backed by customer service that's second to none. To learn how Image Matters can help you, visit ImageMattersInc.com or call 865 212 36 
800 Technology you need, people you trust. This is Coach Josh Heupel. You're listening to Josh and Swain on 99.1, the sports animal. Josh and Swain, thanks for being with us on this Monday afternoon. Available anywhere you listen to podcasts. Search Josh and Swain, subscribe on your favorite platform, and you can go back and listen anytime. Thanks to Beatty Chevrolet, as we will be with you until 3 o'clock today on the Sports Animal, on the Sports Monster, and anywhere you want to tune in. That also includes the Sports Animal YouTube channel. Tennessee hit the practice field today, Swain. Football team is out there, the first of 15 practices, the 15th practice will be the orange and white game on april 13th so the start of the nico era he did start the final game of last season the citrus bowl but it's the 2024 reset now it's nico's team you have a bunch of newcomers to watch out there on both sides of the football that would include lance hurd at left tackle as expected he's on the left side with john campbell jr working at right tackle Chris Brazel's out there, wide receiver transfer from Tulane, wearing number 11. On the defensive side, Jermon McCoy is a guy that will compete for a starting position at corner after transferring from Oregon State. Jacoby Thomas will uh, compete for a starting position at safety, transferring from Middle Tennessee. Not everybody's out there. Brew McCoy be limited this spring, get some, some running in, but save him up for the fall as he comes back from injury. No Elijah Herring at linebacker. Uh, no Andre Carrick at guard. That's a, a disappointing one, I would say, as he's coming back from injury because you want to get that left guard spot figured out. He might be a starter, but it doesn't look like he's working out there to start the spring. You know, a lot of players um, have been able to capitalize on NIL. How do you as a coach, new coaches, how do you create a sense of urgency and um, minimize the lack of entitlement as quick as possible? And this not only goes for Tennessee, but goes for every team across the board. As you are starting either spring ball or fall ball, first practice, you have to establish that. Like, Hey man, it's, it's cool. You're riding around your nice ride, and you know you're doing what you uh, are doing and making money. But in between these white lines, everybody's the same, and everyone is held accountable. And if you don't set that standard now, I actually should have been already set in workouts this this winter. But if you don't establish that now, it's going to come back to bite you in the fall. And so there's a lot of new players. Um, that have come in, they're hungry, they're starving, coming from you know, programs less, lesser than Tennessee in terms of prestige and uh, exposure, uh, resources. You mentioned some. But it's up to the leaders. It's up to the coaching staff to make sure that you set some hard boundaries, a solid foundation uh, to start spring. And now it's about – um, each and every day, just continuing to build on the confidence of you know, your players, uh, mainly Nico, and just making sure that everybody that's around him is you know, playing as best as they possibly can off on offense. Uh, it stinks that a guy like, you know, Andrew Carrick, not out there because this is his opportunity. He was brought here from Texas to be able to compete and possibly be an option at left guard. And it's hard to make the club when you're in the tub. It's hard to compete when you're not out there practicing. So it opens the door for someone else. And I, I believe there at right guard, we will see Javante Spragans limited this spring. Remember, he suffered the knee injury at the end of the regular season. Yep. So that will mean an opportunity for young players to prove what they can do. Does that mean earn a, start, a starting spot in the fall? I don't know that. But they'll get a lot more practice reps and an opportunity to show that, hey, maybe I deserve a look. At left guard, the right guard position is not up for grabs. That's going to be Spragans. Yeah. But the left guard position is it's wide open, should be, right, in terms of fall competition. 
No, it should be. And, um, I mean, it's, it's really about using each and every day to personally improve, whether it's a lot or little. Because here in a couple months, you may be counted on. Somebody may go down in front of you. Or someone in front of you may not be playing well enough in practice. And you are called upon. And regardless of what you did in practice to, to be this, on the second team and not earn that first team, like – you can play in the games and play well and lock down that spot. So left guard position is still a position that comes with questions and several guys can do something about it this spring because of injuries. Some guys may not be able to, but what are you doing every single day? Cause you can still improve without physically being out there going through practice, even though that's the best way you can still improve. Are you watching film? Are you watching drill tape of NFL left guards? Are you watching Trey Smith? Are you going to the film room? Like, like the film guy should be annoyed by you because you won't leave him alone. Like, my first couple of days on campus, I learned quickly from Casey Clawson, yo, go make Joe Harrington your best friend. And I asked him, hey, man, can I have cut-ups of all the great receivers? And video guys love that. Like, get giddy. Oh, my God. Oh, I got Peerless Price. I got Marcus Nash for you. I got Cedric Wilson. That was Joe. I got, I got a great cut up for you. Oh, you love this. I just studied those guys. Studied those guys. So you can do that when you're hurt. You can do that when you're healthy. You should live in a complex. Like, this is a time between now and the start of fall camp. You should live in a complex. You're not going to have the same amount of classes. Um, spring semester will be wrapping up here in a couple of weeks. But, like, y- y- you should live in a training, uh, excuse me, in a complex. Your girlfriend, you holler at her when it's time. Your friends, you holler at them when it's time. Mommy and daddy, like, you already been home a couple times anyways. If you don't like that, go pay your meals, brother. So, like, it's, it's go time. Like, Tennessee is one of those teams that should be in the college football playoff. But every single day, the sense of urgency should be at an all-time high. Josh Heupel's entering his fourth season. People looking around going, all right, you need everything to get this quarterback, Nico. What you going to do with him? So, like, it's, it's, it's really go time for everybody. And you, you're emphasizing the, the emphasis that has to be placed on you better be ready to work and compete because guys have been rewarded – before they played at Tennessee, right? And that's just the way it is. That's not a Tennessee thing. That's what a lot of schools are having to challenge right now. Mm -hmm. But freshmen who have arrived, transfers who have come in, they've been compensated. Yeah, ain't ain't done nothing yet. So you need to make sure that they remain hungry to get better to prove how good they can be for Tennessee. And that's a challenge for, I think, all the coaches around college football, not just Tennessee's. Right. Is how do you you make sure that your team is is hungry and – the best way is to make sure you have strong leadership because those leaders are the ones that can hold those guys accountable. What I hear about the way Nico works has to help, right? Because we know he's being compensated nicely. Oh, we hear, I've heard I, nothing but good things about Nico. I hear great things about his work ethic. Yeah, nothing but great things. Nothing but great things. But at the same time, Nico can't do his job properly if there's not protection. And we saw the ball game. There protection needs to be better protection. Yeah, for sure. Protection like that will not hold up in the SEC. So there needs to be um, a, a focus put on that. And, and it's not just the offensive you know, lineman's responsibility. It's the defensive lineman's responsibility. Like, are you making your teammate better? Are you trying to beat him every single play to make him get better? Or are you brother-in-law? Oh, you know, I ain't going to beat you up too bad. I ain't going to go hard, hard on you. No, I, I need you to go hard on him. That's the only way he's going to get better. So it's about iron sharpening iron this stage of the of the game because there's no game in sight. That's the thing about the spring. Oh, man, you, you know, count down four weeks. First day of fall, you, know, you count down. Oh, 28 days until we play, you know, a different team, a different color jersey. There's no countdown in the spring. You are playing your your teammates. Yeah, 161 days until kickoff it doesn't hit the same way. It don't sound the same way. So how do you get yourself up ready every single day to go up and get your teammate? 
But you have to because that's the only way you can get better. How about those guys that are expected to make plays for Nico in the passing game? We'll cover that. We'll invite you to join us at 865-656-9900. We will cover more of Tennessee's draw in the NCAA tournament. We have a ton to cover right here on Josh and Swain. I'm Tennessee head football coach Josh Heifel. You get all your ball network programming on 99.1 The Sports Animal. 13 hours of live and local Tennessee coverage every weekday. When it comes to game day, the animal is championship level in breaking down the action. Get your Tennessee football coverage where you get insight unlike any other. No one covers the balls like 99.1, the sports animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the sports animal. Defending national champion UConn is the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament that begins this week. The Huskies went 31-3 and and won the Big East tournament and finished 7-2 and this season against teams ranked in the AP Top 25. UConn is joined on the number one seed line by Houston, Purdue, and North Carolina, who will headline the four regions in this year's bracket. Tennessee is the number two seed in the Midwest region with the Boilermakers. The Vols will take on number 15 seed St. Peter's on Thursday night at 920. The Lady Vols are the number six seed in Regional 4 in Portland and will open up the NCAA Women's Tournament in Raleigh, North Carolina against 11 seed Green Bay on Saturday at noon. Should the Lady Vols win, they will face the winner of number three seed NC State and number 14 seed Chattanooga. South Carolina, Iowa, USC, and Texas are the four number one seeds in the women's bracket. I'm Joel Silverberg. When your air conditioner isn't cooling, you need reliable professionals right away. The trusted technicians at Lee Company provide our customers with same-day service for any urgent needs. Whether it's air conditioning, plumbing, or electrical, you can be confident we'll be there fast. Are you a Lee Company customer? Why wait? Visit LeeCompany.com to schedule your appointment. That's LeeCompany.com. Lee Company, all you need. I'm David Brewster, owner of Aqua Clear Water Systems. The next time you're hauling heavy bottles of water, think, why am I doing this? With an award-winning Connecticut water system from AquaClear, I could make my own clean, fresh water. Better than bottled. Give us a call at 865-694-1725 or find us on the web at aquaclearws.com. If you're looking to grow your business and reach more customers, get in touch with Slamdot. Slamdot can help you with website design and a digital marketing plan so that when someone is searching for your product or service, they're more likely to find you. Slamdot can design a plan tailored for you. Slamdot can help with whatever kind of budget you are working with, locally owned and operated with an in-house team that will focus on your needs. Get a free consultation up front. Go online to slamdot.com slash josh. Hey, folks, Gerald Anderson with Ted Russell Nissan. Is your old car bent, broke, scratched, dented, peeling, squealing, smoking, stinking, shaking, pinging, poking, walking, knocking, rattling, slipping, dripping, sagging, dragging, or wobbling? Well, it don't matter. The Ted Russell Nissan, if it'll drive, it's worth $8,500 for the parts of any new in-stock Nissan Rogue for the entire month of March. So you mean to tell me if my car is scratched, peeling, squealing, shaking, pinging, slopping, whatever you just said, it's worth $8,500? Don't you mean $5,500? Nope. This time it's worth $8,500. Only at Ted Russell Nissan on Kingston pack. Tyler Ivins here again for Smoky Cigars. This month's Cigar of the Month is the La Gloria Cubana Churchill, both natural and Maduro. Buy three, get one free. You'll find specials on both general and forged cigars, 20% off boxes. Smokies, Knoxville Cigar Store. The Tennessee Sports Show is coming back to Knoxville Saturday, March 23rd at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. Make plans to meet your favorite Tennessee Vols from the last few decades. This special guest lineup includes Jamal Lewis, Javon Kurse, Albert Hainsworth, Carl Pickens, Cedric Houston, Anthony Miller, and Kamal Haddon. Doors open at 10 a.m. and go still 4. Go online and pre-order your tickets now at TennesseeSportsShow.com. That's TennesseeSportsShow.com. Saturday, March 23rd at the Knoxville Civic Coliseum. 
attention, sports bettors. Danny B here. Make sure to call our free pick hotline, 877-828-0120. Every day we release raw number winners free on recorded message, 877-828-0120. Also visit us at rawnumberwins.com and learn and earn like a pro sports better. Three daily raw number winners, 877-828-0120. RawNumberWins.com If you want a great looking fence or a secure entry gate that will stand the test of time, you need to call Stanley Fencing and Gates. Proudly serving East Tennessee since 2000, Stanley Fencing can customize your fence. Just tell Stanley Fencing your idea and they'll bring it to life. Offering chain link, vinyl, aluminum, and wood fencing. They even specialize in secure entry gates to protect your business. For customized fencing and gates backed by a warranty, choose the Stanley Fence family. Call 865-254-3844 or online at Stanley Fence Hey, Knoxville. It's your local State Farm agent, Josh Hemphill. When you combine State Farm home and auto insurance, you save an average of $889. Contact the Josh Hemphill team right here in Farragut at 865-675-3999. This report is sponsored by Rhino Shield. Don't pay, don't vinyl, go Rhino Shield. How would you like to end the endless cycle of painting your house? You can with Rhino Shield ceramic coating, guaranteed for 25 years. Go to rhinoshieldtn.com. You paint a house, but you Rhino Shield your home. We're going to continue to see that mixture of sun and clouds as we head throughout the day today. Highs near 50, so it is a little bit chilly out there. Winds are breezy, so it might feel a few degrees cooler. We'll drop to 27 degrees overnight, so a very cold, frosty cold start to your Tuesday. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Whether you're facing divorce, injury, or any legal strife has come your way, there's one call to make to Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 at attorney-knoxville.com. When you want to get away from all the daily noise, escape to the Sports Animals stream on our app, smart speaker, or online. Text STREAM to 656-9900 for a listing of ways you can stream us. Fair, honest sports conversation from two guys that define credibility. Here's Josh and Swain on the Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. We'll get back to NCAA tournament talk. Tennessee against St. Peter's. The balls are big favorites heading into the first round in a two versus 15 matchup. We'll get back to your calls and texts at 865 656 9900 as we discuss the opening to spring practice for Tennessee's football team this morning in our last segment. We talked about some newcomers. Wide receiver will be one of the most interesting position groups. One, because it's a group that needs to be better than a year ago. Also, the focus is on Nico and what he can do for Tennessee. What can the receivers do for him? And you have newcomers. Swain, Chris Brazel is a transfer from Tulane. Exciting prospect with what he did last year as a freshman. And then two incoming true freshmen in Mike Matthews and Braylon Staley who are on campus to compete with guys who are coming back. So what are you looking for from that group, that group the wide receivers with newcomers and players returning? Brew McCoy not going through all of spring practice, but they're pretty healthy otherwise. Yeah, last week I was talking about, um, you know, VolQuest.com's article about uh, the top position group battles, and the receiver was not mentioned. And I felt like receiver should have been mentioned because I think it's one of the most fierce battles on the field because only three receivers play um, during the course of a possession most of the time. And – you have several guys that are returning this upcoming year after playing last year. Like you got Nimrod and, and Webb and Brew McCoy and Squirrel White. Um, like, and then you're adding other players that was on the team last year but didn't play or didn't play up to their – I guess expectation um, that includes you know Leacock and 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 um, you know, Thornton. Uh, Brew gets hurt. 
And then you have the, the newcomers. You have Mike Williams and you have Brazel. I mean, that's a lot of people. So who's going to play? Because you're not rotating eight, nine guys. So that's the that's the question right there, man. That's a that's the million dollar question. I know Kelsey Pope, shout out to Kelsey Pope for getting that raise and extension. Uh, kudos to him. Um, but, boy, he got a tough job. Yeah, because it's it's hard for me to imagine that once we get to the fall that Brew's not going to be on the field and Squirrel White's not going to be on the field. Right? Brew's not going to be on the field? It's hard for me to imagine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, that, oh, I mean, yeah, that, yeah. that feels like two spots that are kind of locked up. Or it's going to take a lot to unlock those positions. Brew's going to be out there. Yeah. And Squirrel has produced a fair amount to this point. And I know coaches like to go with who they trust and know what they're getting from. So if you're having, if you're looking for a big three to four, I feel like you have a couple of guys that you know that are going to be in those positions. <laughs> so the other spot on the outside, opposite of Brew, and Chris Brazel's coming in to take that spot. I mean, Chris Brazel's coming in the same way that Dante Thornton came in. You know, a tall mm-hmm. guy that can run on the outside – and Thornton played on the inside, quickly realized that outside was the best place for him. You went out and you, you brought in a five-star player, in Matthews, who seems to be a player that can play on the outside or inside, but taller guys have played on the outside in its offense. But Mike Matthews didn't come in thinking, that would be great to just sit back and learn for a year. Not no, at all. No five-star receiver is coming in to sit back and learn and not play. Because you're always going to learn. And you learn your biggest lessons your freshman year. But learning and not playing? Like, who's doing what Nathan Laycock did last year? That that just doesn't happen a lot. And you can't expect that to happen again if, if 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 you're a Tennessee fan or Tennessee, period. So... Five, I think it's like a race to five spots out of nine, out of nine receivers. And who's going to get them? I don't know, man. But that's that's why Kelsey Pope was was paid more money because he got to figure it out. And you got to put the best three out there, the best guys that can go out there and make plays. And if you feel like you don't have an opportunity to play after this spring, then you probably need to go somewhere else. I just don't see nine guys being here this fall. I just – it, that doesn't make sense to me. I'm sure you're right. It, it's a talented group. It's obviously more talented and deeper than it was a year ago, right? Yeah, for sure. Nine? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see that number going into the fall. But it's it's. I think it's, again, it's a race to see who's going to be trusted by the quarterback, who's going to be trusted by the offense coordinator or the head coach. The spring's going to be very, very important. I don't is is Mike Matthews going to stay in this number? He's rocking eighty nine. I like it. I do too. The only reason I like it is because you know who my one of my favorite receivers of all time is, right? Who's that? Wait, oh, wait. Steve Smith. Okay, you already know. Yeah, there you go. You already know. One of my favorite receivers of all time. He, you can pretty much tell why I like Steve Smith, right? He a bulldog, man. Mm-hmm. He is a straight up bulldog. So. If it was like 87 or something, I'd go, I don't know about that, man. 89, that's Steve Smith right there. So, I like I like that look on uh, Mike Matthews. 89 for Mike Matthews. Staley is wearing 14. And pressure, pressure. Chris Brazel's rocking the 11. Yeah. Joey Kent. Jalen Hyatt. Justin Hunter, balls of six, six five one ninety five shades of Justin Hunter right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. So only uh, only Dante Thornton right now in the number one. I don't know if a defensive player will add that before the start of the year, but Dante Thornton back in the number one. Yeah, I would I would imagine somebody rocking number one. Man, you can't you can't not have somebody rocking number one. It's the most. Precious number on the field. 
And uh, Brew McCoy, he's been an appropriate 15. Something about how the numbers line up with the way that you play. Yep. Brew plays like a 15. He does. He does. So, how does he lead while being out? One of the toughest things to do. That's why I got so much respect and had so much respect for Kurt Majit, how he was able to do that going through the injuries that he went through. It's a little bit easier to lead when you're in front of the line and, you, and you're practicing. But how can you get on guys for what they're doing in practice when you're not practicing? Like, you got to be that dude to be able to do that. You got to be respected to do that. But Brew should do that and should be able to do that. Last year, um, I, I thought he was kind of coming to coming into his um, comfort, level, comfort level of being a leader. Well, he's going to have to continue to do that because he's the old guy in the room. And he can't go into a shell just because he's not out there participating in spring practice. He has to be a leader even when he's on the sideline, which is a tough challenge, but he has to do it. One down, 14 practices to go for Tennessee's football team. We'll continue the conversation. Tennessee's basketball team is getting ready for St. Peter's on Thursday in the first round of the NCAA tournament. St. Petersburg. How confident is Rick Barnes that his team will be ready when the tournament tips off on Thursday? That when we come back on Josh and Swain. Are you on a Medicare Advantage plan and not happy with it? Medicare Advantage open enrollment period goes on until March 31st, and Senior Benefit, Inc. is there for you. It's specifically for individuals on Medicare Advantage plans, and if you're not satisfied with your plan or you're not sure how it works, Senior Benefit, Inc. and their local agents are standing by to answer your questions. Their services are free and confidential whether you get a policy or not. Let them help you with Medicare Advantage open enrollment. 865-862-4298 or get at FBI. Yep, that's the relaxing sound of being a landlord. Well, assuming that Heritage Realty is your property manager, thanks to Heritage Realty, the only work you have to do is get up and walk to the mailbox and get a rent check. No more phone calls in the middle of the night. Heritage Realty takes care of those, and they inspect your properties throughout the year to stay prepared. HeritageRealtyKnox.com. Maintenance, inspections, and financial experts at your service. HeritageRealtyKnox.com. Vol fans, this is BFL Chris Brown at Harper Volkswagen. We're excited to offer 0% financing on the 2024 Volkswagen Tiguan SUV and rates as low as 1.9% on the made in Tennessee 2024 Volkswagen Atlas. Remember, Harper Auto Square is a proud partner of Tennessee Athletics and the number one spot for Vol fans. Come see us and check out our extensive selection of new and pre-owned Volkswagens at Harper Volkswagen, 9901 Kingston Pike, or online at harpervw.com. Go Vols! It's time for this week's sweet deal. Get two adult wristbands for the price of one to Ober Mountain, going live this Friday morning at 9 a.m. Looking for a spring break adventure? Make plans to visit Ober Mountain in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Soar on the aerial tramway, 2.1 miles over the Great Smoky Mountains to Ober. Experience the Tennessee Flyer Mountain Coaster, Alpine Slide, Indoor Ice Skating, Downhill Mountain Biking, and so much more. Bring the family and enjoy the all-day adventure wristband. Pay one price for unlimited fun. Soar, ride, slide, and skate all day long. Make Ober Mountain your spring break destination in the heart of Gatlinburg. Obermountain.com. This Friday morning at 9, visit 991thesportsanimal.com for this week's sweet deal. Get two unlimited wristbands to Ober Mountain for the price of one. Sweet deals are your opportunity to experience some of the finest restaurants and attractions East Tennessee has to offer at unbeatable values. Don't miss this one going live Friday at 9. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect and we put little mints on your new pillows. We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck-you-in service. Right now at the bed store, you can get well tucked into any Tempur-Pedic mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories and we'll deliver that Tempur-Pedic locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com. 
the bed store. Well, we'll even tuck you in. Matlock Tire has a reputation for being a little bit old school. They're proud to be known for their outstanding hometown customer service. They've been doing things that way for over 60 years. Matlock now offers new modern conveniences, such as family-friendly waiting areas, online appointment scheduling, and you can even shop for tires and see their current stock right from your computer or smartphone. They invite you to stop in to one of their convenient five locations or come see them online at matlocktireservice.com. Modern convenience, hometown service. Matlock Tire Service and Auto Repair. Matlock Tire. Lucille Ball, star of I Love Lucy, which has been running on TV for seven decades now. We had a wonderful time doing them, and I think it shows. That is the essence of our comedy, those early I Love Lucy. She and her husband, Desi Arnaz, created Desi Lou Studios. Lucy was the first woman to own a major studio in Hollywood. We salute Lucille Ball, the first lady of television comedy. Cumulus Media and 99.1 V Sports Animals celebrate Women's History Month. From the Budweiser Studios of The Sports Animal, we are 99.1 The Sports Animal. Back on Josh and Swain, thanks for being with us. 920 Thursday night, Tennessee better be ready to go, Swain. Coffee, espresso, whatever you need to do. You get the new Gatorade, the new coffee flavor Gatorade coming out. Is that right? Yeah, just for the tournament. I know there's the fast twitch stuff. Mm, this is faster. Okay, faster twitch for the tournament. Okay. Yes, yeah, espresso. You gotta espresso win. Gatorade. You got to win six to win the national championship, but you got to win game number one to have a shot at game number two. Rick Barnes meeting with the media after the bracket was released. With Tennessee finding out it's a two seed in the Midwest, facing St. Peter's in the first round on Thursday. Rick Barnes on Tennessee getting ready for the tournament. I congratulate our guys because you don't ever take this time of year for granted. And the fact that uh, they've worked hard all year to put themselves in a position to, end, to earn the seed they've gotten. And, uh, and I think they'll be excited to play. I, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind they're going to be ready to play and excited to play. But uh, it's just uh, you don't take it for granted. And uh, we're blessed to have this opportunity, and we've got a good – really try to make the most of it no doubt that Tennessee will be ready Tennessee will take on a St. Peter's team that the Vols just have no business losing to they're massive favorites 19 and a half points going into the game and we'll see if that can help fix some of the issues that showed up on Friday as the next round will be a game where Tennessee's favored to win as well assuming Tennessee wins on Thursday night uh, but that doesn't mean it's a gimme once you get to the, the second round or beyond far from it no I mean if Texas wins, and I mean they got some some pretty good players. Um, they got the big man that we saw him. We played against him when he's at Vanderbilt. Dylan DeSue. Yeah, but then he transferred to Texas. He came up here, and uh, he's even better now. He's their go-to guy down the post. So that will be a matchup for us if Texas win and uh, Tennessee wins. So yeah, it only gets harder after round one but um tennessee should beat every team that's in front of them to the elite eight because they've been better from start to finish this season but we know that's not how it works it's about who's better that day yeah i do agree with the approach of the charlotte invitational that's how rick described it in that okay we need to be the best out of these teams that are trying to come out of charlotte St. Peter's on Thursday, and then Texas or Virginia or Colorado State. Virginia and Colorado State will play tomorrow, and the winner of that game advances to take on Texas. Any of those teams could beat Tennessee on Saturday. But to me, that's going to be a no-excuse game. You can't lose in the second round against teams that are not as good as you. And I don't even think it's that. The margin's pretty wide to me. When you look at what Tennessee has been this season – and what those three teams have been. I'm, I don't think Virginia should be in the field. They are, so they get their shot. But if they're the ones that are playing Tennessee on Saturday, no excuse to lose that game. I find people messing with us, man. First game, we play St. Peter's, mm -hmm. a team and program that we connected with two years ago. We loved on them because they beat Kentucky. Somebody texted in, was there a game, maybe it was Tennessee-Kentucky, I'm not sure, but a, a Tennessee fan with uh, – 
a big sign that was trolling Kentucky. Remember the remember the peacocks. Remember St. Pete. Some concern of karma. Yeah. Surely not. And then and then you have a potential matchup versus Virginia, who we locked arms with against the uh, NCAA, the state of Virginia. <laughs> That's right. And then you have Texas, the other UT, the program that Rick Barnes was fired from. We've already done the Big 12 SEC challenge where we won one and lost one. Now they're coming and into now, the league. Yeah, now they're coming into the SEC, and it's set up for a potential matchup against them. I, I just feel like this was put here on purpose. Well, good. Put that chip on the shoulder. The NCAA trying to pay Tennessee back. What was that chip against Mississippi State? I guess it fell out of the bag. It fell out, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Got to put it back on your shoulder. Put it back. I'm trying to get past it, man. I can't. I'm trying. One hour to go. We'll see if Swain can right here on Josh and Swain. Hi, this is John with ProSource Home Buyers, and I buy houses cash. If you have a house and you want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me, 865-500-3711. I pay cash and close as quickly as you'd like. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, in any location. I buy several houses per month, and I want to buy more. I buy inherited houses, divorced houses, behind-in-payment houses. I even buy my tenant won't pay me the rent houses. Do you own a house that is in rough shape and needs thousands of dollars in repairs? Great, because I love buying these houses. I buy vacant houses, abandoned houses, condemned houses, and even foreclosed houses. If you own a house and you want to sell it fast, call me at 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. The madness is here and the excitement is off the charts. Experience the thrill of every dunk and buzzer beater with Buddy's Barbecue. Mouth-watering Buddy's Barbecue family packs are perfect for feeding the whole crowd. And don't forget to try their signature smoky wings. They're a slam dunk every time. So get your friends together and fill out your brackets and head to Buddy's Barbecue for the ultimate madness experience. Visit today or order online at buddiesbarbecue.com. Do you have stuff that you need gone? Then give a buzz to Junk Be Gone. Created right here in Knoxville, Junk Be Gone has been the number one junk removal company in East Tennessee for the past 16 years. Full service junk removal, 15 yard driveway dumpsters, document shredding, and demolition. They can remove above ground pools, pool tables, hot tubs, swing sets, fences, pianos, home and office furniture, even televisions, and the kitchen sink. Give them a buzz at 865 675 5865 or on the web at junk begone.biz tired of your outdated kitchen but worried about renovation costs affordable kitchens and tops has a wide range of stylish and durable countertops cabinets and more that won't make you break the bank visit affordable kitchens and tops.com to explore their selection and get inspired today their team of experts will assist you every step of the way from materials to professional installation create the kitchen of your dreams now by visiting affordable kitchens and tops.com and start your renovation journey today Got a small business that no one's heard of except your grandma? Time for a boost. From Cumulus Boost, the affordable way to boost local search engine optimization and help manage reviews. Cumulus Boost helps local businesses improve their online presence so they're not buried by bigger companies and local searches. Get found, get on the map, and get a boost with Cumulus Boost at CumulusBoost.com. That's C-U-M-U-L-U-S Boost.com. Having a tough time finding the right people for the job? Well, maybe it's time to take a second look at who you're hiring. Look beyond the wall. Unlock talent by hiring someone with a record. They did their time, and now you can take them from justice to a job. Get tax credits, training dollars, and protection bonds. The Tennessee Office of Reentry can show you how second chances work. Learn more at tnworkready.com. Brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development, the Tennessee Association of Broadcasters, and this station. The minute folks step into Dollywood, I want them to feel the wonder of my Smoky Mountains and to feel their hearts with all the good and beautiful things in this big old world. 
and to cherish all the little moments they get to be together. <laughs> Enjoy thrilling rides, award-winning entertainment, and delicious new seasonal flavors. Plan your visit at Dollywood.com. Dollywood. Love every moment. This is WNML-FM Friendsville. WNML-AM Knoxville. Cumulus Media Stations. Broadcasting worldwide from the Budweiser Studios. We are 99.1 The Sports Animal. This is Jim Rome with the CBS Sports Minute, sponsored by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Old Trapper, what's your beef? A quick thought or two about Selection Sunday, because we had some surprises, as we always do. However, no surprise at the very top, because the defending champion UConn Huskies are right where they belong, back on the one line as the top overall seed. However, this year could be a very different story, because the East region is no joke. I'm Jim Rome. O'Reilly Auto Parts can help you find a repair shop with our shop referral program. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. If you're a pro and flooring is your game, we'll help you win it. Because at LL Flooring, all we do is floors. You want decor? Try. You want plumbing? You're out. LL Flooring has been helping pros knock it out of the park for over 30 years. Visit one of our 400 nationwide warehouses for one-on-one -on -one service, extensive inventory, and exclusive pro pricing. Right. Get the pro treatment you deserve. Enroll today, online or in-store. LL Flooring, every step covered. Always find what you love at Total Wine and More. With so many bottles to choose from at the lowest price, it's easy to find your favorite Cabernet or a new single barrel bourbon to try. With the lowest prices for over 30 years, find what you love and love what you find at Total Wine and More. Spirits not sold in Virginia and North Carolina. Drink responsibly, B21. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. Rebuild your family, regain your freedom, renew your life. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group, 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Hour number three of Josh and Swain begins. Thank you for being with us. With an upbeat and overly confident Jason Swain, I'm Josh Ward. Instant Blade Tournament Week is here, one of the best times of year, with spring practice underway as well. VFL, former Tennessee wide receiver, 865-656-9900 to join us. It's going to be a good tournament, though. I agree with that. SEC should be excited. Got a bunch of teams in. What's the official count? Eight teams. It's pretty dang good, man. Got multiple. Kentucky got a three seed. Yeah, that was that was a little. They lost on Friday, Friday night to Texas A and M. Kentucky will play Oakland. Greg Campy, he got our attaboy uh, last week, one day last week. Greg Campy, the head coach there, mm -hmm. Yahoo did a big uh, story on him a couple days later on uh, what he's done there at Oakland. A lot of craziness went on. You had a um, you know, player up by a point. Deciding to foul, that was that oh, was. Oh man, the Kent State Akron game. That was tragic. Um, you had NC State's coach win the conference championship, automatically triggered a two-year extension and raise. He was on the cusp of getting fired. You had a coach who was fired. Long Beach State. Yeah. <laughs> Dan Monson was fired, but opted to coach his team in the conference tournament. They won the conference tournament. So what do you do? Remember um, Georgia with Felton. More yeah. than 10 years ago now, 15 years ago. Yeah. They they went and won the SEC tournament. They, I think that's when they had to play like two games in a day because of the tornado. The tornado, yeah. What do you do? You, you just fire them? What do you do, AD Josh Ward? What do you do, man? You, you going you, you gonna to text a buddy? What, are, do they get some NCAA tournament money that helps with the buyout that they've already wow. committed to? I don't wow. know. I see, uh, I see you answer that question. Long Beach State gets Arizona in the first round. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be able to justify that firing after that loss to Arizona. Mm -hmm. See, we knew we should have yeah, fired you. you. Yeah. Uh, we knew you weren't good enough. What if they pull off the upset it, there? You should have beat Arizona. <laughs> well, if, if they beat Arizona, he should be the AD and the head coach. 
moving forward. Yeah, he'll probably get a bigger job. Yeah, he should be. He should be. He should be both. Well, that too may get a bigger job, but I doubt it. Uh, also, number of teams declining in IT invitations. Any yeah, issue there? A uh, big issue. Okay, yeah, big issue. We, we, we've seen in the past players, coaches, be disappointed not making the tournament, still going to play. I mean, what kind of message does that send? You, you tell your players that they got to fight through, they got to persevere when things don't go their way, when they don't get what they want. So you're going to take your ball and just go home, not play, just because you got snubbed? Yeah, you got snubbed. Won't be the first team or the last. It happens every year. But I'm surprised those players didn't stand up and go, no, Coach, we, we, we still want to play. Like, we want to play basketball together, wearing this uniform. This is our last time playing. Like, how are you, are, how are you a senior in that locker room and saying, you know what, yeah, Coach, I, I want my career to be over, even though I have an opportunity to play three or four more games. Pittsburgh said no. St. John said no. Uh, Oklahoma, I believe, said no. Memphis said no. What? Well, so I I read the quotes from Rick Pitino with St. John's being left out. St. John's had a, a good case to be in the NCAA tournament. They're not in it. But I I enjoyed. I I laughed audibly when Pitino, in in the order of the story that I read, was talking about he wanted to give his players hugs. He wanted to be there for them, knowing the disappointment of not being in the tournament. And the final quote of the story was him saying, we got to go hit the transfer portal hard because we need, like, eight more players. Goodness gracious. So, basically, <laughs> so, he wanted to replace the whole roster. Yeah, I want to go give these guys some hugs right before I kick them out. <laughs> Farewell. And of course, you got some seniors that are going to depart. But if players are coming in, players have got to move on out. So, he wants to hug them, but he doesn't want to coach them again in the NIT. He wants to go replace them. Yeah, he was disgusted with them earlier in the year. He couldn't stand him. Man. <laughs> He's a winner, man. Can't win with scrubs. So they're they're on to the next. I mean, the world that it is is you get you have to get active and move quickly in the transfer portal. So that will be the focus of some of the coaches, not all, because obviously a bunch of teams accepted their invitations to the NIT, but others decided no. I would uh, I would lean toward the side of hey, if you're invited, you should go play if that's what your team wants to do. I'm also not going to be up in arms about it because I don't care about the NIT and I don't know one person that does. So I can't I can't be outraged at schools deciding not to play in a tournament that they're told from the outside doesn't matter. I mean, I care about the NIT, just not as much as the NCAA tournament. Because at the end of the day, it's still basketball being played and <laughs> those guys are competing. I remember being at the Tennessee-Georgetown game in the NIT Michael Sweetney looked like he wanted to go take a nap on the bench. He was ready to get on to the NBA. Well, I guess it depends on which game you're referring to. Yeah, yeah every program is different. Yeah. But, like, if you had a, wait, those teams that obviously didn't, <laughs> didn't want to play the NIT, you probably don't want to go watch those teams play. Right. But other teams that want to take advantage of playing a couple games together for the last time like yeah lsu's gonna go play matt mcmahon's team they're gonna try to continue to build what they're doing yeah as a team yeah kansas good, state iowa good for them now kansas state's weird because i mean this this was a team that was a game away from the final four last year mm -hmm. now it lost some really good players some pro players don't get me wrong but still xavier georgia georgia's gonna treat that thing like a ball you're gonna tune into cornell ohio state if it's a good game, okay. If it's basketball and there's nothing else on, like I, I'd rather watch that than, you know, a hand slap competition on, on Ocho. They're looking for you, man. Did Indiana State's coach take that job because they're in the tournament? Saw that he was uh, he was in line. Josh Shirts, great name. Shirts, yeah, it's a good name. Uh, he's in talks with St. Louis. So he's in talks with another job while this team's getting ready for the NIT. So that's why I came. Yeah, it happens all the time in football, the interim. That's, I know. That's all that happens in football this time of the year, the postseason, a bowl season. I know, but is, then we end up debating what those games mean. 
So sim- similar, but even less value, if you ask me. You're going to watch it. If it's on TV and you are in front of the TV, but it doesn't have the same value as watching Elite Eight, Sweet 16, or a really good bowl matchup between two really good teams that want to be there and all the players are available. Here's the other question that is being had and probably being had by more people. Nathan texting in, what is the point in playing an SEC tournament after the SEC champion is already crowned? I would not be as excited as a player for extra pointless games. Did you hear what Stephen Pearl said? I did. Assistant coach for Auburn, which just won the title in the tournament. I don't like to call games pointless. Because there is preparation that goes into every game. There is effort that's put in to make sure that players are, are ready to play. I can't I can't call any game pointless. I, I can't. I don't think they're pointless either. But they do they do mean different things to different teams. It seemed pointless. I think, I think that's pretty obvious. It seemed pointless for Tennessee on Friday. It looked pointless for us. Well, uh, I think there were several stretches where it was literally pointless for Tennessee, but it was. Yeah, but it wasn't pointless for Mississippi State. For Mississippi it State. wasn't pointless for Texas A&M. Mm-hmm. It wasn't pointless for Auburn. It wasn't pointless for Florida. It wasn't pointless for Kentucky. Like, these are teams that even though they didn't win, like, they wanted to be there. And they were trying to win the game. And they were given all that they had to win that game. More, if if we go on more and more, and teams understand more and more that your seating really doesn't matter. This tournament is not going to impact your seating one way or the other. Really, the only thing you're playing for is to improve your chemistry, um, making sure that you're peaking at the right time. That's that's what you're playing for, but it's not to improve your seating. Yeah, unless it's an automatic berth. If yeah. you're a team that's on the outside looking in and you know yeah. we have to go win the tournament to get in, yeah. because that is the focus when we talk about the beauty of the mid-major tournaments, it's because we know those teams are playing for their lives to be able to extend and keep their season going in the NCAA tournament. But for the major conference tournaments, the SEC, the Big Ten, the ACC, watching what was going on this weekend, I think a lot of people are asking, okay, so – what exactly is the point of the tournaments? Even Stephen Pearl today, Joel, if we can hear from him on Next Round Live, after winning the SEC tournament this weekend, was talking about the seeding Auburn received, being a four seed, and also having to go out to Washington to play the opening weekend. What's the reward exactly for Auburn? Here's Stephen Pearl. Yeah, I mean, we, we talked about it, I think, last week or the week before. The, the SEC tournament doesn't mean a damn thing. If you can win three straight games and win the SEC championship and be a four seed, it's, it's a joke, honestly. I th- they, 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 they made their mind up before we got into the SEC tournament. So it makes it really hard for us as coaches to, you know, find a way to tell our guys, like, you know, we're trying, obviously it, it's amazing to have a championship, but it doesn't do anything for our team to show up and win three games in three days if we're not going to be rewarded for it. We get shipped out to Spokane, Washington, and, you know, obviously have to play that game. But, you know, uh, we play on Friday, which is better than in 2019 we played on Thursday. So we're, we're obviously we're blessed. We're, we're very happy for that. Um, but obviously two really tough opponents with, with Yale and then the winner of the, the San Diego State game. So um, we're, we're thrilled that we won the SEC championship, our fourth championship in the last, you know, six years, and that's an amazing accomplishment. But now we got to obviously get ready and be excited to uh, go all the way across the country and play a couple games. Stephen Pearl, after Auburn won the SEC tournament, talking to Next Round Live two years ago when Tennessee won the SEC tournament for the first time in 43 years at that time, the Vols received a three seed when a lot of people here and around the country thought Tennessee deserved a better seed. Rick Barnes at the time said, quote, if conference tournaments don't mean anything, if the teams are already slotted to be in the tournament can't improve their seeding, we should stay at home and let the teams that are trying to get in the tournament fight for that automatic bid. That was right after Tennessee had won it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they should have been a, a number two seed after that. I don't think Stephen Pearl is going to be a head coach anytime soon. 
You don't think so? I don't, I don't really sound like a head coach. I think it would be cool for him to be a head coach, but he doesn't necessarily sound like a head coach. But he's right. I agree with him. For them to be able to win three games in three days in the toughest league in the land, to be a four seed is one thing. To have to go all the way out to Spokane, Washington is another thing. That's that's insane. And they are in the East region, the East bracket. Yep. What sense does that make? <laughs> what are we doing? That makes no sense. Yeah, I like Auburn a lot heading into the tournament. I don't know that I like Auburn against UConn. I could say the same the other way. I, I love UConn, but man, Auburn's going to show up in the Sweet 16? It's like a bit of an unfair draw for that's UConn. That's Sweet 16. UConn, Auburn, that's, that's going to be the best – Best game of the Sweet 16 matchups going into it. That's going to be a knockout, a heavyweight knockout fight right there. Yep. Auburn will play Yale and then also could face UAB. UAB is the 12, but we'll have a chance to knock off San Diego State. So it could be Auburn versus UAB in the second round. Alabama is also going out to Spokane, Washington. They deserve to go out there. They've stunk it up the last couple of weeks. They play soft. Auburn deserves better. Alabama does not. Auburn has earned some some postseason grace. Alabama, mm-mm. But Stephen Pearl's right, though. Hate him, love him, don't really matter. Hard to disagree with what he said because we experienced the same thing two years ago. Yeah, Mark um, says, notice how much more eloquently Rick Barnes made his point than Stephen. <laughs> yeah, again, Steve, Stephen's Stephen's not going to be – Stephen's comments had some, some edge. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, they were not eloquent. I wouldn't say that. No, no, no. no. Uh, Jackie noting that Josh doesn't like the NIT because it's past his bedtime. Yeah, they usually play those things – after dark. A late night NIT tip? Not happening over here. I gotta get it's like, it's like you know, Pac twelve football play. Now you really gotta like basketball, stay up and watch NIT. Can I get a coffee NIL deal for the Thursday game? Yeah, you can. You can. They do those? Uh, I mean I'm open to any kind of discussion. I thought they just just give you the money. <laughs> I didn't know they actually do commercials. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, you need a you need a coffee nil pay, deal. Pay for talks, Wayne. You you, <laughs> you need an nil deal, or you can just go to a store and buy your own dang coffee because it's not that expensive. Lori in Knoxville, we appreciate the text. Adding, I am agreeing with the comments concerning the nit, and I feel the same way as Swain about our basketball team. Yeah. If you've been listening to this show for like the last couple of months and you said to yourself, you know what, man, I wonder how real the Swain keep it. I, I, I really want to know. Today should be the day where you say, you know what? Yeah, dude's, dude's keeping it real. Because all year long, I've been telling you how you need to jump on this train, Tennessee basketball. No reason to be afraid. In November or December or January, because this team is special. And if you're going to be afraid, you can wait to March because of recent failures, recent experiences. And here we are in March, and I'm concerned. And I'm not feeling great because of what happened on Friday. I could come in here and say, you know what? No, no, you got to believe. You got to believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you Come on. You can't be a nigga of all. Yeah, yeah. No. Forget that. You saw what we saw on Friday. It was bad. I'm nervous. I'm concerned. Don't let it happen again. Please. All right. Let's send you over to Charlotte. You and Grant Williams can got, speak to the team. I ain't team got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. Mm-mm. Nothing, I, mm-mm. Nope. You got a you got a room full of guys who are older than me. What 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 am I gonna say? You got a Hall of Fame coach. 
Yep. You got seniors that have been part of disappointing exits from the tournament. That's right. You have lost the teams this season, come back and beat those teams, except for Mississippi State. What is that else to talk about? There's nothing else to talk about. We'll figure something out over the next 40 minutes Just here on it. Josh and Swain, 865-656-9900 for you to join us right here on both 99.1 The Sports Animal and AM640 The Sports Monster. Your odds to win 99.1 The Sports Animal's biggest prizes just got better. We now draw one member of our email club, The Jungle, as an instant finalist in contests with a grand prize value over $500. Club members get links to our latest blogs and videos, plus a layout of sports animal programming and biggest sporting events of the weekend. To make sure you receive our weekly sports animal email, visit our website at 991thesportsanimal.com and sign up for The Jungle Email Club. What if you could get a 365 days comfort guarantee to adjust the firmness or softness of your mattress. What if you could get a two-sided flippable mattress at factory direct pricing? What if it came with a warranty of up to 20 years? What if you could watch your mattress being handmade right here in the Knoxville factory? You can at Brothers Bedding Mattress Factory. Brothers Bedding understands what it means to be local, high quality, excellent service, and a name you can trust for over 85 years. BrothersBedding.com Ask Sherwin-Williams during the March Spring Sale, March 15th through the 25th, and get 35% off paints and stains with prices starting at $28.92. That means 35% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and bathrooms. And, of course, get 35% off all of our other colors. Stop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Hi, this is Scott Trout of Cordell & Cordell. If you're a dad who is facing divorce, there are extra layers of stress that may include stereotypes and assumptions. No two situations are the same. Our legal experience and dedication prepare us for whatever legal challenges we face together. You need a partner you can count on. For more than 30 years, Cordell & Cordell has represented men in divorce. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell & Cordell's Knoxville area attorneys. 408 North Cedar Bluff Road, Suite 425, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37923. When it's time for the March Mania brackets to bust wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. <laughs> Bonus offers. And when the madness starts in Cinderella, <laughs> man steps under the... <laughs> BetUS always has your back with... <laughs> To back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game. Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Hey, East Tennessee, this is Nick Whitehead with Whitehead Auto Sales in Alcoa. If you have a car buying need, our family of experts has a solution. Our expertise is not just buying the best pre owned vehicles, but the financing is where we separate ourselves from the competition. Here at Whitehead Auto Sales, we are a preferred dealer for some of the top credit unions and banks in the region. We have one of the best finance programs in the country. Bad credit, previous bankruptcies, collections, repos, and yet we are still able to get people approved. Visit us on Facebook, Instagram, or at whiteheadautosales.com and read the reviews for yourself. It's really a no-brainer. Call us today, 233-5335. Jake and Christine knew they needed help renovating their dream home. As a Pella advisor, I make sure every step of getting new windows and doors is smooth, including setting you up with our Pella Care Guarantee. It covers everything from product to installation with some of the strongest warranties in the industry. 10% off your project and special financing is available. Go to PellaEastTN.com slash local. Certain restrictions apply. See store for details. Offer ends March 31st. I remember when I was a little boy and every day we had fresh milk delivered by our friend Fred. You see, Fred was our milkman and he always had a smile on his face. He went about his business with joy and he served his customers well. He would deliver our milk ice cold in those glass bottles and right to our doorstep. It seems like that good old fashioned joyful service is a thing of the past these days. Well, not here at the bed store. We believe that when you choose to buy your mattress from us, that we should make your entire experience a great one. When we deliver your bed, we literally roll out a red carpet to make sure that we show your home the utmost respect and we put little mints on your new pillows. 
We go over, above, and beyond because you deserve that kind of old-fashioned tuck-you-in service. Right now at the Bed Store, you can get well tucked into any Tempur-Pedic mattress and get up to $300 in free sleep accessories. And we'll deliver that Tempur-Pedic locally for free. Come see us at any one of our eight convenient area locations today or shop with us at bedstore.com. The Bed Store, while well, we'll even tuck you in. Four out of five sports fans listen to Tennessee football talk on the Sports Animal Street. The fifth is an Alabama fan, and he can't listen to anything since the batteries died at his transistor radio in 1981. The hottest sports stories of the day broken down to their very core with honest, informed opinions. Here's Josh and Swain on the Sports Animal. Thank you for being with us today on Josh and Swain. It's a big week. The NCAA tournament will tip off on Thursday. We have the play-in games over the next two days. Tennessee and St. Peter's will play Thursday night. The Vols up to 21.5-point favorites for their opening round game. And if Tennessee advances as expected, we'll take on either Texas or the winner of Virginia and Colorado State playing in the play-in round. You can be a part of the show calling or texting in at 865 656 9900 every day thanks to native design and the native nursery we hand out attaboys and atta girls swain how about to nc state north carolina state's basketball team we talked about the head coach being on the hot seat going into the conference tournament they needed five wins in five days good luck to the wolf pack they did it they knocked off unc so a big in-state rival the blue blood from inside the state nc state was able to win the acc tournament and get into the NCAA tournament. How about that move? Yeah, man, they they uh, made history. Five wins and five games. You mentioned it. Uh, winning against in-state rival, a team that is a number one seed, a team that um, make a national championship run, and they did it with a bunch of guys that transfers. They didn't do it with a bunch of All Americans, McDonald's All Americans that go to North Carolina on the first try, even though North Carolina does have transfer here and there. Um, but to do that five games in five days, and then the, the head coach um, was on his way to being fired. But because of his contract, winning an ACC tournament championship automatically kicks in a two-year extension. And so he's going to be there uh, for two more years. got a $400,000 raise, a $100,000 bonus. And more years on that contract. So, uh, man, the the, the post game celebration was emotional. Watching those guys uh, battle and claw and fight, and now they get a chance to go to the tournament. And um, don't know how long they'll play in the tournament, but they are there. It is a reminder we shouldn't need them, but often we do. That you just never know, especially in this sport with NC State having lost four straight. To close out the regular season, they win five straight to win the ACC tournament and get to the NCAA tournament. So, like, we had a text earlier uh, to include it in the conversation. Hey, don't assume Auburn's there in the Sweet 16. They could lose to San Diego they State. That's absolutely true. San Diego State's not guaranteed to advance. So, the, the point is absolutely correct, and NC State is one of our latest reminders. Uh, count it out tremendously disappointing finish to the regular season mm -hmm. was immediately followed by as impressive of a conference tournament run as we've seen. So attaboys to everybody involved there at NC State. Every day we hand out attaboys and attagirls thanks to Native Design with the Native Nursery for contractors and landscapers. It's your one-stop shop for plants, trees, and landscaping materials. That includes boulders, flagstone, mulch, and more. You can call Native Design at 865 310 3256, located at 3473 Louisville Road. It's just five minutes from Pellissippi off the Topside Road exit. Again, 865-310-3256 or go to nativetn.com. Tennessee has gotten wins over the two finalists in the Big 12, Big 10 championship. Won the big, beat the Big 10 champion, Illinois. Got a win over NC State, the ACC champion. It's pretty good. You missing anything else? 
Uh, well, uh, some of the teams that we're playing for it as well. Yeah, I mean, Wisconsin beat them. So, really good wins uh, for Tennessee. Obviously, there's some opportunities that Tennessee missed, but a lot of, a lot of good yeah. this season while we are, you know, kind of licking our wounds and feeling sorry for ourselves because of the the loss against Mississippi State. Yeah, also, I mean, it, people know at this point, but it's a statement to the schedule Tennessee puts together. So Tennessee yeah. played and beat NC State. They were placed in the game against North Carolina in the ACC-SEC challenge, but it was still on Tennessee's schedule. The Vols going to Chapel Hill. They played Purdue, which was the team upset in the Big Ten tournament for Wisconsin to have a shot at it before losing to Illinois. So Tennessee played a real deal schedule non-conference. People know that at this point, but that's one of the advantages the Vols have with Rick Barnes as the head coach. But now you're in the NCAA tournament and have to go win those games that you're scheduled to play, starting with St. Peter's and then a no-excuses second-round game coming up on Saturday. Which number one seed do you feel like will go home first? Houston, UConn, North Carolina, Purdue. You don't have to answer that right now, Josh. Save it for when we come back. 865-656-9900 if you'd like to weigh in as well with 30 minutes to go on Josh and Swain. Win yourself a limited edition Sports Animal Game Day towel powered by Food City. Just listen for the when and where. Then wave your Sports Animal Game Day towel cheering on the Vols from Food City, your official supermarket of the Vols. And 99.1, the Sports Animal. The great thing about sports is it never stops. Here's another 60-second sports minute on the Sports Animal. Defending national champion UConn is the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament that begins this week. The Huskies went 31-3 and and won the Big East tournament and finished 7-2 this season against teams ranked in the AP Top 25. UConn is joined on the number one seed line by Houston, Purdue, and North Carolina, who will headline the four regions in this year's bracket. Tennessee is the number two seed in the Midwest region with the Boilermakers. The Vols will take on number 15 seed St. Peter's on Thursday night at 920. The Lady Vols are the number six seed in Regional 4 in Portland and will open up the NCAA Women's Tournament in Raleigh, North Carolina against 11 seed Green Bay on Saturday at noon. Should the Lady Vols win, they will face the winner of number three seed NC State and number 14 seed Chattanooga. South Carolina, Iowa, USC, and Texas are the four number one seeds in the women's bracket. I'm Joel Silverberg. Hey, it's Josh. I want to tell you about Ted Russell Ford and Ted Russell Lincoln, locally owned and operated. This is where my family has purchased several vehicles over the last several years, two in the last two at both locations. We've shopped at the Parkside Drive dealership location as well as Kingston Pike. Right next door to the Kingston Pike Ted Russell Ford, they have the brand new Ted Russell Lincoln as well as they offer even better service with their luxury vehicle options for you from Ted Russell Lincoln, and they have great savings that are available right now with the March Mania sales event at Ted Russell Ford. You can get no payments for 90 days on all new 2023 and 2024 Ford models. If you have been interested in a Ford Bronco, you can get rates as low as 3.9% APR for 60 months and up to $1,000 off MSRP on a 24 Ford Bronco Sport. They can help you save on brand new vehicles they can help you find some of the great options in the electric vehicle lineup from ford shop on parkside drive kingston pike and you can also go online to tedrussellford.net this has been a paid announcement phoenix conversions you love your home truck work truck suv you want it tricked out fixed up vip embrace the winter with Phoenix Conversions. Upgrade your ride with WeatherTech Essentials and gear up your truck bed, ensuring maximum protection with Lomax bed covers. Drive in style, conquer the cold, and take on winter. Phoenix Conversions, when it has to be the best. Tired of your outdated kitchen but worried about renovation costs? Affordable Kitchens and Tops has a wide range of stylish and durable countertops, cabinets, and more that won't make you break the bank. Visit AffordableKitchensAndTops.com to explore their selection and get inspired today. Their team of experts will assist you every step of the way. 
from materials to professional installation. Create the kitchen of your dreams now by visiting affordablekitchensandtops.com and start your renovation journey today. Hi, this is John with ProSource Home Buyers, and I buy houses cash. If you have a house and you want to sell it fast at a fair price, call me, 865 500 3711. I pay cash and close as quickly as you'd like. I buy houses in any condition, any price range, and any location. I buy several houses per month, and I want to buy more. I buy inherited houses, divorced houses, behind in payment houses. I even buy my tenant won't pay me the rent houses. Do you own a house that is in rough shape and needs thousands of dollars in repairs? Great, because I love buying these houses. I buy vacant houses, abandoned houses, condemned houses, and even foreclosed houses. If you own a house and you want to sell it fast, call me at 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. That's 865-500-3711. Thirty-seven eleven. The big dog of heating and cooling is now looking for more techs to join the pack. Chansey and Reynolds is now hiring HVAC duct mechanics and technicians, providing a great benefits package, paid vacation and holidays. These are full-time positions for those who want a career, not just a job. Chansey and Reynolds, in business for more than 40 years, is a York Heating and Air Specialty Company. Apply in person at 614 Van Street or call 865-525-5076. The big dog of heating and cooling. The big dog. The this report is sponsored by Russell's Pest Control. Wake up every morning in a pest-free home with Russell's Pest Control's Pest Free 365 Plus, their year-round preventative pest control program. To learn more and to schedule your $99 initial pest service, visit russellspest.com today. Overall, it's a cooler day. Highs are near 50. Winds are from the northwest, gusting up to 20 to 25 miles per hour. So that might make it feel closer to about the low to mid 40s this afternoon. Frosty cold night as we drop it to those mid to upper 20s. More sunshine warming up for your Tuesday. From the WVLT First Alert Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Paige Noel. Josh and Swain is brought to you by McKeon Law Group. East Tennessee's number one family law and divorce attorney group. Call Jed McKeon and the McKeon Law Group to help your family in their hardest times. 294-8008 and attorney-knoxville.com. Josh and Swain on 99.1 The Sports Animal. Once again, voted one of the top 25 sports midday shows in America by Barrett Sports Media. This is Josh and Swain. Thanks for being with us. Swain, you asked me last segment, the first number one seed to go home. Yep, what you got? You need more time? You need to phone a friend? You need, you need a lifeline? I don't trust any friends with this one. I'm going to say Houston will have a problem. Could it be prison of the moment because I watched how that offense struggled against Iowa State? On Saturday, perhaps, uh, but I'm going to say the answer is Houston. That team could lose in the second round to either Nebraska or Texas A&M, and it wouldn't surprise me at all. So I'll say Houston. Yeah, I was thinking about them. I was thinking, I was thinking about North Carolina, and the Mississippi State. Watch out now. I mean, we obviously know Mississippi State is capable of beating a uh... number one seed worthy team. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm 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 working myself getting past Friday, slowly but surely. That is a work in progress, <laughs> no doubt about it. Yeah, Houston and North Carolina; those are my two number one seeds that um, I think will go home first. And I agree with you on Houston, though, because that eight nine matchup, either one of those teams could beat them. You look at Iowa and how Nebraska plays and Iowa State plays and the A&M, they could give Houston some trouble. Because A&M is kind of built like Houston in a lot of ways. Not as talented, but they rebound well. And Wade Taylor the fourth, nobody is playing better than him mm -hmm. in, 
in the SEC in the last two or three games. Nobody. That includes Dalton Connect. What Wade Taylor did the last two games in the SEC tournament, no one is doing that. I don't think anyone in the country has put together two games like Wade Taylor the fourth. So watch out now, Houston. You might be in trouble in the second round. Yeah, maybe between now and Thursday we'll put our watch out now list together. Teams that better before they start playing on Thursday and Friday. Uh, yeah, Tennessee will be up there high on my list. Kansas limp, limping into the tournament. You know who better be? Yeah, I, you can have any Kansas stock you want. I have no interest over here. No. You know, you know who better be concerned? Hmm. Gonzaga. Okay. Do you know who the coach of McNeese is? Sure do. That, uh, that would be Mr. Will Wade. A guy who, despite some of his issues that he has basketball. faced, can coach basketball, and I would be interested in him coaching my team if I'm a major program where the fan base really cares about our basketball program because he is a winner. And, and now some of the issues that he dealt with at LSU won't be a concern with him moving forward. Big A offers for everybody. Yeah. No problem. Yep, you don't place them on phone calls, you place them on the table. Pretty much. So, Gonzaga better be careful. That's that 5-12 matchup that always seems to work out at least once in the tournament for the 12th seed. Do you have a um, do you have an early final four? Or are you more of a I haven't figured it out. I, I, I haven't filled out one team yet. I got my bracket right here. I used to be a Sunday sit down and I would go off gut feeling and fill out the bracket and then adjust from there. I can't do that anymore. Yeah, you gotta you gotta let it marinate. Yeah, look at the matchups. I need a little more time before I'm gonna make my wrong picks. I respect that. I respect that. Yeah, we just. This is from our friend at Vault earlier in the show, trying to help you out. Help you? You. Me? Jason Swain. This will help Swain. Okay. Tennessee seems to go on a winning streak after playing that bad, and point guard play is really important in the tourney. Plus, we're an older team. When Tennessee played really poorly against Texas A&M, the Vols went on a run. Zakai Ziegler does play point guard, first team All SEC and Defensive Player of the Year, and Tennessee's old. All points are true. I told myself that Saturday, and then I pulled a Jim Carrey and lie liar, and I beat myself up. Because I didn't what believe myself. Because kicking my own. Because <laughs> I didn't. Because I didn't like my own point. I, uh, what do you mean? We're old. That's why you should have played better against Mississippi State. Mm-hmm. What do you mean a run a- after Mississippi State or, or Texas A and M? They were old enough to know. Let's rope a dope, everybody. Clank shots off the backboard. Uh, Josh, and we'll have Josh. We had, th- we had Texas thinking it'll be easy in the second round. We had one hit the top of the backboard, two that hit just the backboard. We had three shots that hit that wasn't even close to the rim from three. Surely that won't happen again. True. C.J. Moore of the Athletic. We respect his opinion. He has Tennessee in the Elite Eight. He does have Tennessee falling to Purdue, but if Tennessee's in that spot taking on Purdue again in a rematch, you'll take your shot, right? So he has Tennessee getting to the the Elite Eight. A lot of the national analysts believe Tennessee can go to the Elite Eight or Final Four. I mean, I said it a couple weeks ago. I, Fourth best odds to win the national title right now. Yeah, that's, I, I don't mind playing Purdue. I don't mind seeing Purdue. They are one seed I'm not necessarily afraid of. I was afraid of Houston, but I don't know how much I'm afraid of with how they got exposed – in the Big 12 championship game, UConn might be the only team now. 
but they're on the other side of the bracket. So if you handle business, you don't see UConn to the championship game. I'm cool with that. Yeah. But we got to get there. Got to get there first. I think everybody recognizes trying to beat Zach Eady and Purdue in the Elite Eight. Tall task. Hmm. But you take your shot if you get there. You got to take your shot, man. I hope I hope uh, the big guys are ready to file out. Zakai uh, take it easy on his brother on Thursday. Why would he do that? I think I just said it. His, his brother played for UT or played for the other team? Other team. You know what's about to happen there. One more segment to go here. We have the Power Bowl. Top winners and losers out of the weekend. Tyler and Will taking over at three on the Sports Animal. We also continue for one more segment here on Josh and Swain on AM640, the Sports Monster. We're We're teaming up with Barley's Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria to give you a shot at the million-dollar Madness Bracket Challenge this year. We're We're stepping into the hysteria by by giving you the chance to win one million dollars. Jump into the buzzer meeting action by registering your your bracket. If you you make a perfect perfect pick, that's that's a million-dollar bracket. Get 60 picks, that's 10 grand. Plus, there's a $500 prize for the best bracket in the East of the City. Register your bracket today at 991esportsapple.com. Presented by Barley's Tap Room and Pizzeria. Any bracket is just better with Barley's. Fellas, if you're feeling tired, grumpy, you've noticed a lack of motivation and drive, maybe some weight gain, loss of muscle mass, these can be signs of low testosterone levels. At Low T Center, they're going to make it easy for you to get your levels checked. It's a simple blood test, and with their on-site lab, results will come back to you in about 25 minutes. Low T Center is concierge medicine for men. Their physicians specialize in treating low testosterone and have been exclusively treating men for years with most health insurance accepted. They have affordable and convenient treatment options, including physician monitor, self-inject treatments that ship directly to you each month. So there's no need to drive to the center for weekly visits. Right now at Low T Center, just $25 to get your T-level tested. Make your health and quality of life a priority. Let's make it a great spring. Go to the website, that's lowtcenter.com, to book your appointment online today. That's lowtcenter.com. This has been a big announcement. Bird Kreischer presents Tops Off World Tour. I look at my dad. I go, hey, dad, maybe we should sit down. I don't think your owl's out tonight. 30 seconds later, <laughs> right on top of it, we hear, <laughs> my oldest daughter goes, dad, look across the lake at the old man on his dock. There's another drunk, blind, old white man just, <laughs> Bird Kreischer, live on stage at Thompson Bowling Arena at Food City Center, Saturday, April 6th. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. This is Ken Salyer, General Manager at Cumulus Knoxville. For years, Executive Building Solutions has cleaned our offices and broadcast center. Their owner received the new Sentinel Leadership Award twice, and they have been named top workplace for five consecutive years. If your offices or facility are seeking elite customer care and cleanliness, let Executive Building Solutions be your solution to a clean office. Call today, 933-1766. 933-1766. Sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Looking for a career you'll love with flexibility, great pay, and benefits at one of the country's top workplaces? Come join our growing team. Go to Progressive.com slash careers and apply online today. Every day you breathe in thousands of tiny little germs, allergens, and viruses. Don't let these invisible invaders make breathing through your nose impossible. Flush them out with Navage. I'm Martin Hoke, and I invented Navage to make cleaning your nose easy. Navage uses powered suction to pull saline in one nostril, around the back of the nose, and out the other nostril, helping flush out everything that makes you miserable. Nearly 4 million people use Navage to breathe better, sleep deeper, snore less, and feel healthier. People like Doug, a verified Navage user who writes, I had difficulty for years breathing through my nose. After using Navage, my whole breathing has changed. My sinuses don't hurt and no more stuffy nose. It's an amazing product. Unquote. If you suffer from sinus congestion, allergies, or snoring, then Navage is the safe, drug-free solution you've been looking for. Navage is at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, Target, and Navage.com. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E, clean nose, healthy life. Hey, Knoxville, it's your local State Farm agent, Josh Hemphill. When you combine State Farm home and auto insurance, you save an average of $889. 
Contact the Josh Hemphill team right here in Powell at 865-512-7542. The Budweiser Studios are recognized worldwide on the Sports Animal app and online at 991thesportsanimal.com. From the Budweiser Studios of The Sports Animal, we are 99.1 The Sports Animal. Final segment of Josh and Swain. We'll be back tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Thanks to everybody that has been hanging out with us today, wherever you have been listening, watching. Uh, Levi in the YouTube chat said, I listen all the way from Reno all the time. How about that? Love it. Josh and Swain listeners, viewers all over. So we appreciate you tuning in however you have done so today. And we'll, uh, we'll try again tomorrow from 12 until 3 to get Swain up and ready to go for Thursday night. Yeah, shout out to uh, Tony, my, my my neighbor. I was outside my front yard. He drove by. He's like, man, you you don't be lying. You said you'd be in this yard. <laughs> so I just want to give Tony a shout out. My neighbor who listens to the show all the time. Backs it up. Also, uh, we were at uh, Harper V-Dub and had some people come up and show us a lot of love. Just want to appreciate that so much. Yeah, tell those fine people thank you. Also, we had a great suggestion earlier in the show. For Jason Swain, Vol Network sideline reporter, requesting turf reports for the upcoming football season. So when Tennessee's playing NC State in Charlotte week two, let the good people out there know what the grass is looking like before kickoff. You can't trust that NFL field sometimes. It's, it's, it's not, I think it's a great idea. It's not kept up like SEC fields. Uh, I'm asking more to get your immediate Facial expression, not even your verbal response because we're short on time. You but turned me into enough memes did you, for the year, okay? <laughs> get some good gifts out there now. Uh, did you see RG3's suggestion <laughs> for Caleb Williams? Perhaps he should pull an Eli and tell the Chicago Bears, I'm not coming. Good, because I don't feel good about it anyways. <laughs> okay. I really don't. I'm not sure how to feel on your behalf. I don't feel good about about Caleb Williams. I don't feel bad, but I don't feel good. I feel really good about the moves that have been made so far. Uh, Ron Poles, I think he's done a really, really good job. But, man, this is this is a move that can make it break you, who you pick at quarterback. And if Caleb Williams doesn't want to be there, why are you going to draft him? Why would you draft somebody who doesn't want to be there? Well, maybe he does. We'll see. They've they've brought in some players to try to help, like a Keenan Allen. That would How's make... that going to help? He's a veteran. This dude's been living in California, mm-hmm. living in a high rise. Yeah, the Chargers tried to get him to restructure his contract, and he said, absolutely not. No, so pay he's me. now a Chicago Bear. Pay me. Yeah, mm-hmm. he deserves it. And I, no, I'm no, no fault to him. Yeah, he, he doesn't have to do that at all. that money. But Caleb Williams... Mm-hmm. Every quarterback that's played for Chicago Bears have, has failed, except for Jim McMahon. And that was a while ago. Yeah. I was, what about the Cutler years? I was wearing a diaper. <laughs> Cutler years, I included that before I made my statement. So you can't really blame Caleb Williams for having some reservations about going to Chicago. When I think of Chicago, like I don't necessarily think of Caleb Williams. No, 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 not at all, not at all. So, so can't wait to see how it plays out. Before we close out the show, whatever we have the power poll, our top winners and losers from the weekend swing. Would you like to lead us off with your list? First loser, Josh Wolf for bringing up Caleb Williams. No, I'm Seems just topical. Uh, shout out to the Tennessee softball team for. The only team in orange, it seemed like, they wanted to win something this weekend. They swept the Mizzou Tigers. And you know what else they did? They stood on business. That's what they did, according to Karen Weekly. That's what Karen Weekly's program does. They stood on and business. And they have been for quite they a while. They stood on business. So, uh, they get my first nod for a winner's circle. 
I give it to Auburn for the SEC tourney. NC State winning the ACC title. Uh, losers include all the teams declining to play in the NIT and intensity baseball. Um, won game one of the series and then lost the last two losing the series to Alabama. If it wasn't for Alabama, I wouldn't have them on the list, but it's Alabama. You knew the assignment. We don't lose Alabama. Number five winner for me. Th- this is no knock on you. I just think it's been a shrewd week for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Landing Justin Fields at no risk. So their quarterback room is a veteran at a minimum price in Russell Wilson and Justin Fields who they can check out. Hey, could he maybe be our guy for the future? If not, no more cost. It's Great a six-round pick Great move. Uh, to try to build around those guys. Six-round pick, huh? Let it marinate for a while. Did you see the uh, the left-handed game winner for Kyrie? He still has it. So I have him on the winner's list. I have NC State. I have the bid stealers. Number one, Scotty Scheffler, eight under on Sunday to be the first ever to go back-to-back in the Players' Championship. My uh, God. On the loser side, I mean, Tennessee had a one seed there. The opportunity ended up being nowhere because of Friday's result. Number one, I hate the way that it ended. I hate it for that player. But Kent State against Akron. The bid was right there. And who knows? Maybe Akron would have gone down and hit a buzzer beater to win it. But they didn't have to. They were given two free throws. They hit those. Kent State headed home. Six-round pick. Got to know the score. Got to know the time. Tyler and Will take over. We'll see you tomorrow at noon on Josh and Swain. What's up, folks? Anthony Armstrong here. Bob Pop, along with Super Bowl champion Carl Banks. Hey, NFL fans. This is Solomon Wilcox, former NFL safety and host 